In a world in crisis, can three idiots find hope in the darkest of places? Will love conquer all, or will hate win out in the end? This is a show called Hate. Welcome to A Show Called Hate, a podcast in which we explore love, hate, and everything in between in search of greater meaning and perhaps a little perspective. I'm John. I'm Nick. I'm Chris. Thank you for handing me beers. You're welcome. Uh, I'm I mean, back. They were right there. The boys are back. Yeah. I mean, that was the simplest distraction technique ever. I, I know. That's actually quite effective. That worked yeah. very well. When you put things into people's hands. Yeah, they don't know what to do. No. They just fall it, apart. It, yeah, everything falls apart. Yeah. yeah a whole system. Yeah, it's actually quite profound. Thank you. You, you well don't want to... That was quick. You don't want to like... Um, Good night, everybody. Say <laughs> no, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're back. Sure uh, am. Again, I'm back again. Back yeah, again. it's funny, isn't it? There's like a certain air of belligerence in the room, which wasn't here before. Yes. Thank yeah. you. Who's respond? Oh, that's Chris. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah, no, yeah, really, no, yeah. Well, I only do every other episode now. Clearly, it's yeah. In the terms of my new contract. Part time. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, I should have got a contract. I swear. Really should have. Once yeah. again, we are rinsing you yeah. for what you're worth. You had better things to do. Very much so. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's just my life generally, actually. Um, when it comes to this podcast. Yeah. Any, any, any excuse will do, <laughs> frankly. You were on your honeymoon yes correct well i'm not going to get too into it because it it will come up later oh, oh okay spoilers I see, I see. spoilers yeah um but yes that's where i was oh, okay um we had a nice time cool sure. which was good Great. um yeah i'll i'll get to that okay okay Ooh. It's, uh, Ooh, it's i have clear. to ask in case in case it doesn't get touched mm. upon I'll, I'll try and be subtle about Fine. it because i genuinely don't know what you're no, gonna bring up okay. later is there a does it have a certain magical quality Anything you're going to be saying. Perhaps. Okay. Then. Okay. Well, we'll leave it there. Yeah. We'll, yeah. we'll leave it yeah. there. Great stuff. And for anyone who was listening two episodes ago, you'll know exactly what I'm going to talk about. Yes. Can we, although you know. might not know how. But you, you won't because I haven't said it yet. No. no this no, is no, a real no. peek behind the curtain for anyone who doesn't realise this. And we're, what, 97 I, re- I really should have brought in. this up before we started recording. It's fine. Yes, indeed. I probably should have said don't mention it. And then I... And then... Well, you're out of practice, aren't but you? But people yeah. think... Because of how slick the show is. I think yeah, a lot of people it's very think slick, that show, it's all yeah. scripted. No. And, Absolutely. Um, but all this, this talking over each other is completely exactly. scripted. No, exactly. it's, yeah, like it's cool, yeah. Just then that this we're doing it right now. It sounded like I was rudely uh, interrupting like we're doing right now. Yeah. This is it. Yeah. But I wasn't. It was, no. That was scripted. <laughs> uh, and speaking about professionalism, can we just give a, uh, a, 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 a quick shout out oh, to the anonymous commenter who's listening on Podbean oh, who yeah. keeps calling us up every time we're eating on, on air. See, that's not that often. No, a, no, it's not. But he's found and them. I'll be honest, I couldn't give a rat's ass. No. I'm not going to sit here and not eat <laughs> because it bothers one person. Uh, yeah, I think he's the only listener we have on. Podbean, did you Pod say? Podbean, I believe, Podbean, yeah. Podbean, which no one's heard of. Which is a po- I've never heard of that. <laughs> well, it's a podcast syndication app, which... Um, I'm sure it's great. It's, but, a, it's a what? Well, a pod- Indication app. A syndication In- app, oh, you cretinous in- hominid. <laughs> a podcast <laughs> indication app. It's syndication, right? Mm. So, but the thing is, like, you there's always like there's oh. so you'll think you've hit them all. Yeah. So we're on Apple, we're on we're on Spotify, we're on Stitcher. I, the big what three. What the hell is that? But then that's the thing. More of them come out of woodwork. I don't know what any of these platforms. But, are. <laughs> more of them You've come out of wood- Apple. <laughs> <laughs> but more of them come out of woodwork. Mm. And then it's like, and then you get emails from like podwank.com <laughs> and it's like they automatically <laughs> Terry at Podwank is <laughs> yeah. desperate for you to yeah. put your show on his platform. But no, but your podcast already is. Because oh. they just, if he's got an RSS feed, they just pull it on. The bastards! They pull it on and they pull it off. I haven't, haven't okay this. Yeah, well, here's the thing. But you have to claim ownership. Oh my god. So I get these... Oh, I, no one's going to claim ownership of this. Not this except one. Except us. We're, We're safe. That's We're safe. I get, I get these... So I'll get, I'll get these emails from Podwank and, um, <laughs> you know, Audio Slam. And they go like... Yeah. Um, you know, someone's commented on your podcast, mm. and it, and I just get like a snippet, which is like, "Stop eating on camera, you fat fucks." Yeah, uh, or, yeah. I mean, know. he's messaged a couple of times now about the fact that we eat on the pod. Um, if anything, it makes me want to eat more. I know that's exactly how I. <laughs> that's exactly Frankly. how I feel. I I I. But no, shout um, out to you. I, yeah, I can't think of too many times. I'm trying to think, which is why I went suddenly went silent. And well, there've been a like couple of times broken. when we've actually brought food in as the hate yeah. or love. Yeah, which is which is really when we're baiting this this guy. <laughs> I, I think. think. <laughs> I know there's an episode where I bought um, exquisitely sliced Meats. pieces of 
Italian meats. Yeah, so I, that was good. And I, mean, I think we were talking about this at one point, and you said we've never really eaten on air. Oh yeah, I did. Eat, I did bring a tube of Pringles on air once. So yeah. That, oh yeah, that's true. That's yeah, one of the, that's yeah, one of the that. times I'm thinking of. Yeah. Maybe that was. Yeah. It. I don't remember the Pringles. When did we eat I, Pringles? Oh, Wait, we, I think it was just me. Oh, I see. It was when we were all remote. Which oh, was the, the okay. pandemic, and I was. Uh, oh. And you made a joke about you know how. How close, Nick, are you at all times to a tube of Pringles? And I grabbed some immediately and said, well, actually, <laughs> I have some now. Wow, yeah, that just feel like an eon ago, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, if you're that bothered, listen to a different podcast. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop changing my behavior. No, or maybe. Or should I? I think it's up to this listener to find a way to, to, to love it, to like yeah. it. You know, that's what this show is about. This show is about hate and love. Yeah. And, and the, the passageway between. The correct way of doing it would have been to comment officially on our Facebook page and submit your hate. And ah. your hate could have been us yeah. eating on. Yeah, and, we, and then, then we'd have done something. Then we would have addressed it in much the way we are now. Yeah, <laughs> basically exactly the same way, to be honest. <laughs> and this is absolutely not a ploy for you to get this person's details <laughs> and then just attack them. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Come join the group. It's no. really friendly. <laughs> That would be sense. That would actually be um, fiendish of me, but I wasn't yeah. even there Sl- slide into my DMs. Yeah. The thing is, is that a, a little, a little bit of hate mail, which, mm. which essentially this is, um, in any other podcast would maybe be, you know, a little bit unwelcome or surprising. Sure. Yeah. But this is a show about hate. Thing is, so, <laughs> so, so thank you. That's just more fuel yeah. for the fire, really. I welcome feedback mm. in all walks. As much life. as the next man, <laughs> as long as the man next to me is someone belligerent. Um, <laughs> but it doesn't mean I have to act upon it. True. Doesn't no, it? no. No. Feedback's no. fine, but it doesn't mean I have to Far do anything it. with it. That's a that's a life lesson we can yeah. all get behind. Absolutely. So I appreciate your feed. What's the person's name? Well, we, we don't, don't know. know. That's the point. Oh well, it's well, easy let's, to let's... hide behind on an anonymity, <laughs> isn't it? Let's just call him Podbean. Yeah, Podbean. Podbean yeah. isn't happy. Yeah. <laughs> no. But also, like uh, as you say, maybe it would derail a nicer, more professional podcast. Mm. But I actually felt quite on it. When we got our first comment, I was like, oh, oh yes. that's amazing, yeah. I know there was one, because I remember you saying, now that you brought it up, was there another one? Yes, I think oh, that's he, I don't think he's he called it twice now. I don't, uh-huh. think he, I don't think he called us fat fucks this time. I think he that's called good. us like uh, greedy weasels or something like cool. that. I, I don't know. Yeah, he maybe wound it in a little bit, which I think proves that he's on his no, path I think to he loving should, it. I think he should he's double warming. down and, and call us worse names. I mean, sure, go for it. Like, But I think he's, he's coming around to loving it. No, that's fine. Thank you for your feedback, valued listener. Yes, as always. What else should we talk about? Uh, things we hate. Oh, if we must. Yeah. yeah. No professionalism. Let's just go for it. Should we dive straight in? Yeah. Okay, shall I go? Oh, go on. We well, you teased you. us enough with yeah. your honeymoon bullshit. Yeah, so my honeymoon bullshit um, <laughs> was in the UK. Okay. As we know. We, we talked do. about this, didn't we? Well, we did. Last time I was in. Well, it's been such a long time. About three months seen... ago. Yeah. 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 Um, so we went to Nor- Norfolk. I won't go into where it is because someone complained about that as well, I think, on Facebook. Started calling us out for not knowing where Norfolk is. Oh, that's true. Yeah. I can I can work the internet on the computer too, listener. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, this I, is an episode where we really we're going for them. Yeah, aren't this, we? We're, this, we're turning on. I've our... not been around <laughs> enough lately. <laughs> we're turning really? on our modest fan base. Yeah. <laughs> Just take them down a notch. It's about time. It is about time. Anyway, yeah. My hate doesn't relate to that at all. Um, is that I don't get enough free stuff. Okay. Well, you get free toothpaste every week or whatever it is. Not yeah. enough. No, right. I get no, I get free toothpaste every quarter. Okay, oh, okay r- yeah. roughly. That's probably not often enough. Do you remember when you were a student, when you were young, right? Mm. When we were young, and they people couldn't wait to give you free stuff because they thought you might take a photo of it and put it on, I don't know, whatever the social media platform at the time was. Yeah, like or you, they or might be able to get a photograph and use it in a poster campaign or I... something like that. Yes. Let's say, hey, young person, young alive person, why not? Uh, brimming, fair, let's brimming say. with youth. Oh, I at see. A freshers' fair, or when you're at a university event, or when you're at an event, uh, a sporting event, or something. Yes. Something yeah. you'll be given a promotional item or something like that to promote something effectively for someone. Yeah. As you get older, people don't want to give you free stuff. No. Even on your honeymoon. Oh. You know, we this... when we got married mm. thought, oh, we'll go on our honeymoon, and my understanding was always we'll get a load of free stuff. You must always say it. That's, yeah, that's oh, the we did. oh yeah, we did. Like you, yeah. you walk into a hotel, you walk into a restaurant, you go, hey, it's my honeymoon. Yeah. Bitch. So we, we told everywhere we booked before our honeymoon, oh yeah, it's our honeymoon. We're on honeymoon. Mm. Honeymoon. Honeymoon. Keep saying honeymoon. Mm-hmm. And you might guess something. Not a bean. That is, not a pod bean. Not a pod bean. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. <laughs> no one gave a shit. That is bullshit. Isn't that incredible that no one except us gave a shit about our marriage? <laughs> <laughs> now, you likened it a moment ago to being young mm. and being an influencer before we had those works yeah and people kind of. but yeah. that still yeah. that platform still existed yeah before it's much easier now because it's instant access with instagram but i guess my, like but you were saying like 
you know, when you were a student, you were giving stuff yeah. in the hope that you, a young person, would take a photo with yeah. it. Yeah, mm. but now I'm old and married. This, and well, stuff. here's what I'm getting. No at, one yeah. wants me to promote their items. No, no, or thank them for something on social media in the hope that it may convince someone else to book with them. Honeymoon the restaurant means married, means old, means boring, means you're not going to promote this. Yeah. We ended up... Because you're going to be too busy having a nice honeymoon. Yeah. You're not going to spend any time on social media. I wanted the free stuff. And so did Liz. We yeah. discussed this at length. What kind of... I mean... <laughs> sorry, you were going to... No, well, uh, we ended yeah. up... Because we got to our... And I think I've told you this off air. But I've not told the listeners, who I value greatly. We, mm. we do. Um, when we got to our accommodation in Norfolk, we unfortunately had to complain because it was dirty. What? The room? The... Well, the whole place. Oh. We rented like an old um, renovated barn. Okay. Which well, didn't look like a barn on the inside, to be fair, but sure. did on the outside. Look like a shithole. Mm, yeah. That's how you know. A, a little. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we got in and it was covered in cobwebs and the bathroom stunk. What? Uh, and there were like dead insects everywhere. Wow. So we had to complain. So the first 24 hours, we didn't really want to be there. No. And we didn't get any free stuff. Nope. It was only when we complained and they came back in and cleaned the place that they started giving us free stuff. I mean, that's really the least they could do. About what free point. stuff did they give you? They gave us a co-op bottle of Prosecco wow. and some flowers. Oh, okay. that's nice. But I thought we might get something like that anyway. Yeah, you should have done. On a honeymoon. Did the flowers attract more flies? <laughs> is the question. There were, I mean, there, I don't know where all the spiders kept coming from. There were spiders crawling out of everywhere. How are well, you it it wasn't the, It wasn't the most luxurious honeymoon, Okay, let's say. Okay. But we were still hoping, oh, if we go to these restaurants that we booked, and if we do these activities that we booked, which we did, mm -hmm. oh, maybe that someone will go, oh, hey, it's your honeymoon, have a drink, or yeah. have, have, you know, something. Nothing. Jeez. Absolutely nothing. Do you feel as though this hustle... Mm. You, it's not a hustle, you, I did you, get you, married. Oh, uh, yeah, no. But this I this, I've done my bit. <laughs> this... <laughs> This long form con, which you and Liz not a, not are. a con. Okay, okay. I mean, yeah, sure. I mean, the... we are married for the for oh the, yeah, yeah, yeah for no, the no, benefit no, of the listener. No. I don't think John's disputing that. I think what John's saying is the only reason you did that was to get all of this yeah. this stuff. Well, publicly, I'll deny it tooth and nail. Of course, you have um, to, and I support that. No, <laughs> I love my wife very much. <laughs> um, but the free stuff would have been nice. Would have been. It would have been nice. Mm. Um, so you're hoping for like a free meal. Not no. a free meal. I just I, a token gesture. Like, I don't want to send anyone out of business. I don't want to rub it in your face. Oh, Valley and I had our anniversary. I bet recently. they gave you half of Japan or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was only a quarter of it. But yeah, yeah. no, we we all we, the tea. We went for a, a meal at the beginning for our anniversary. At the beginning of the meal, we happened to mention in conversation, "Oh, we're here for our anniversary." Oh, fuck. Yeah. We got free glasses of wine. There That's you go. nice, isn't it? Yeah. That would. Where was that locally? That was here. Yeah, Jordan stayed in. Yeah. Didn't we? Yeah, sure, did, maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> but see what I mean? We, we, but we went out of our way to say it because we thought, oh, yeah, you got it, we'll you got it. Free, we'll have a free beer. That'd be cool. And I, at, the, at that, when Ali said it's our, our anniversary, I was like, oh no, don't say that. But then we got the free wine, and yeah. I was like, oh, this is why you say it. Yeah. And now, at that point, I was this huge believer in the fact that no, you always say it. Yeah. So yeah. The, to hear now from you that it hasn't worked no. for you is now shattering that belief of mine. Not at all. You can understand it wouldn't work everywhere. Sure, no, that's sure. that's up to the the house. But rules. you're on a long honeymoon, going to a lot of places. We were away for over a week. How many of those places would you have tolerated to give you free stuff to have met your threshold? Oh, I'd have been happy with one. Just one, right? So were you hoping for like a uh, like a like a something disposable, like a glass of wine, yeah, or like a like a little bag of pot potpourri or something, or some pogs? Anything, yeah. Okay. Anything to simply acknowledge my existence a, would a, have been nice. A booster pack of of nineteen ninety six era pogs. Yeah, <laughs> that would be eight. Ace. I'd bring them in here now. Yeah, I'd be, you'd literally be looking at them now. You'd be bouncing off the walls and giving me that happiness. Yeah, it's the gesture rather than the item. Sure, I mm. think. Mm. Mm. Um, so anyway, we booked another honeymoon. <laughs> 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 Well, you were always wider, going to, yeah. to be fair. Yeah, we're going to Lanzarote. Oh! Where ooh. I hear they'll give us free stuff. I've never been there. We're booking it through a travel agent, and I've said to the travel agent, please make them give us free stuff. Yeah, I should say that. Pretty much. Brilliant. Yeah. I cannot stress enough how much I want. Yeah. Uh, I want gift. the stuff. We were blasted. Like an orange, for God's for sake. For not knowing where Norfolk was on their podcast. Where the fuck is Lanzarote? It's an island off the coast of Europe. Norfolk. Yeah. Off, right. It's, it's... No, it's off Spain. Off of Spain. It sounds vaguely Spanish, I feel. It's, off of, yeah. it's off an island off of Spain. I've yes. heard of it. I just don't know where it is. It's very small, yeah. but okay. very popular. Sure. I don't know why. I've heard of many places that I, I do not know where, where they, they are. are. No. Yeah, indeed. So we're hoping to like go heaven. there and get uh, quite a lot of free stuff. Yes. Whatever that may be. Okay. I and hope so. The capital of free stuff. Do I'll you... tell you in six months. <laughs> do okay. you need to start coming up with some kind of strategy 
Well, what? Right. What strategy could I have beyond it is my honeymoon? You'd think getting married would be enough of a strategy, wouldn't you? But clearly, it, well, it hasn't enough. worked. That's I funny, don't know yeah. what else I can do. Well, I think clearly, I think you need to be dressed. I think Liz needs to be in a wedding dress. At the very okay. least, I think, and no, have a cask on her leg. Yes, that's great. Yeah. We're, no, we need to add to this. Okay, we need then, a narrative. But then, but then I need a reason why that wasn't my fault. You need. No, it's fine. You need to be in your suit, but okay. it's ripped to shreds, and, oh. and uh, some of your pecs are showing. Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. And I have, blood. I do there's have a... six of them. Yeah, there's a bit of blood, and you come into the room first, panting. You know, sort of like you. Yeah. You need to look like Chandler Bing. Yeah. At, no, Ma Matthew Perry. Is that his name? That's, that's his the, name. That's the actor's name. You need to look like Matthew Perry at the end of Act Two oh. of an early two thousands romantic comedy yes where he's down on his luck okay he can't get to you know him and his bride they're he's trying to have a honeymoon suit, yeah. it'll be called yeah. like bad honeymoon or... but am i am i projecting wealth oh now you, already uh no you're wearing a watch i cannot <laughs> i cannot stress enough how poor you look right now <laughs> well i am i'm wearing a jumper with a hole in the exactly armpit, so. i didn't even know that yeah um no you but you I, look I like you need free stuff <laughs> yeah thank you i appreciate that that's all right it's a compliment <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't know what else we could have done or could do. Because I used to get free stuff all the time. Okay. Like when so I was a student, and when I used to go, I was the poster boy for pies at football once. You keep and they really? Or oh, they gave me a free pie. What? You got. Oh, they gave me a free. And our, a friend of the show, Will Train, will back me up on this because he was there. So. And they took a photo of us eating the pies, and we were on a poster on on social media at Jill's football. Fuck, that's awesome. Is, is and I was, and that's because I was young and healthy and effervescent, and and obviously now I'm not. As someone who, who, who know, who's known you uh, pretty much all your life, mm. I'm, I'm struggling to uh, uh, scam down a natural scepticism about, about what you just said. Okay. Um, <laughs> but you... Here we go. So, is it... So, you, at a Gillingham game, at home, mm. somehow literally became the poster boy for a pie. The pie boy. Yeah. So, yeah. Were you actually... Was it on printed posters that were printed out? Were they... Were you on the wall? I think so. <laughs> wow. My memory says it was. Were you... I was definitely on the social. Were, yeah. Were you were you posing with the pie and smiling, or were you kind of well, like a pig? Like mid. Here's the thing. <laughs> mid here's, the, here's the thing. There were a few of us. Like it was me, Will Train, a, uh, another guy I know, and a couple of others who they just sort of rounded up. And yeah. They thought these guys look young enough, but also like fat enough. To be, eating, to be eating pies. <laughs> it has to be a believable pie It has to be a believable <laughs> model. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be... That's true, because if, yeah. if it was some, like, like svelte, ripped, shredded yeah. dude... Then you'd be like, he doesn't eat pies. You yeah. have to look like Giacomo you models. Look, you look at me and you think, you think yeah, a little <laughs> bit. Like Although Giacomo. they're t Giacomo models are tall as well. Yeah, that's no, that's... Uh, they've, they've, yeah. They've you look at me and you think, oh, he's, you know... He's had a pie. Pies. He's had a pie before. He's had a, and that's he's, fine. He's had at least one pie before. Yeah. He's a man who knows his way around a foil tray. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Frey Ben exactly. Post. <laughs> it's a very niche look, but I think I carry but you it are quite smashing well. it. Yeah. Well, at least you were. I was. And yeah. now, 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 I'm, now I'm not even good enough for that. <laughs> so what I find... In, was this at oh, no. home in Gillingham? Yes. This was a Gillingham home game. We were hanging around afterwards. Um... I could probably having a drink. Who, who are you playing? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Good no, lord. All... Well, my point is that out of the best that Gillingham fandom could offer, mm. in that moment, yeah. you were the most... Mm. struggling to find the word here. Pie. P pie. pie. Yeah. You were the most... <laughs> pie. <laughs> they looked out and they said, we need, we need, we need, we need us a handful of pie-hungry lags yeah. to, to yeah. just go hog wild on this a, thing. A couple of pie yeah. boys. Was it a warm pie? Yeah, it was. It was actually a very nice pie. So did they come over to you, hand you a pie, and then just immediately fire off with the camera like... <laughs> um, yeah. Little, Smile. <laughs> it, was a bit, it was a bit like that. And some people, because there was about five of us lined up, and some of us were eating it. Right. And some of us were just holding the pie going... It's like a series oh, of pie. Oh. It's like a series of photos where it, it's all overexposed. Like, the flash <laughs> is really high, and the pie has just been thrust into your hand, and you're just, like, frozen yeah. mid, like... Scream. Ah! And then as the images kind of flicker, you're like running and it's like pies being like forced yeah. down your face. No, it was a very nice pie, actually. So they handed you a pie and immediately went, can we take your picture with this pie? Yeah. Or yeah. did they wake so your mouth was full so you can actually mutter You consent. couldn't say no. I couldn't no. actually give consent, yeah. Um, no, I was I was fine with it. Did they give you a pie each or did they wheel out no. one kind yeah. of large pie? <laughs> well, yeah, they, they had a whole tray and of pies. And then a girl burst out of it who yeah. was like burned horribly. Yeah. No, they had a whole tray of pies. A whole tray of pies? I don't think I added more than one. I was I wanted a beer, actually. 
I didn't, no, really, I didn't even really want a pie. You're a one pie man. <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, you said so. It was after the game, mm. and they were giving out pies. Yeah. So we're talking about leftovers. like the leftovers. Were they? Was yeah, it? Yeah, but they're still the same day. Was it a pie brand or was it like I, Jill's? Jill's pies. Jill's um, pie. I. I. Pff, okay. I don't know. Sure. Sure. It was very memorable, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you remember, even at Freshers Fairs, like I alluded to earlier, they give you stuff and then go, oh. I oh. feel you're conflating two very different I am, situations but I'm here. suggesting that as I've got older, generally, not yeah. just over the last couple of weeks, that gold mine has dried up significantly. Mm. Well, you're basically saying that no brand wants to be associated with you. <laughs> yeah, now, that's exactly what I'm it's saying. because of your Twitter yeah. history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they know and I just slag off my listeners. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just, like... <laughs> There's a difference between no brand. there's a difference <laughs> between because Lucy and I well Lucy, after Lucy and I got married mm. you uh, got free stuff I bet well we went to a uh, little restaurant the day after a wedding had a quiet <laughs> little meal just for two of us after the hustle bustle and they said are you doing anything nice today so well actually we just got married yesterday and he said oh and they brought over champagne oh for f- <laughs> you know and. And and what we got was our four year anniversary. I mean, this is long since the wedding, and we got a free champagne. I know. What? So, <laughs> and I don't think anybody was expecting me to then pose with the champagne. No. And, and, and get kind it. of and get that kind of Instagram action. But I but he, I am not asked to pose for Instagram for free stuff. No. Nor am I given free stuff around my marriage. To wedding. be fair though, I've never been asked. To, to pose for shit or being given free shit for, for posing because clearly I have one of those faces and I also never got a free pie like you maybe have had the you greatest... I've used up all my, all my free stuff I was even, young. I've only just started tapping into my free shit see now I wish I hadn't wasted it on such shit things you got yeah a pie yeah I wish I, I, I wish didn't I even a... want the pie no I didn't really no, I, I was what... I was full of beer <laughs> I feel the real I'd rather have a beer this is what I find fascinating <laughs> is that they looked at you a man who was probably quite too very drunk yeah. Thought, let's get a pie in him and take a photo of him. And they're like, this is the brand ambassador we've been crying out for. This is the man. Yeah, this is the guy. The face, the face of pies. Well, I was wearing a, like a denim jacket as well. So I probably looked. You probably yeah. looked hip. I probably looked the right side of cool, but like attainably cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know? He's the man. He's the guy. Yeah. Yeah. With, yeah. A, with a pie. What kind of pie was it? It. <sighs> brown. Yeah, brown. Yeah. I think it was a meat pie. Okay. That's probably how it was described. I don't remember. I'm, I'm sure of, I can probably me- find mechanically it mechanically recovered. I'm also kind of picturing there was some kind of raid going on on the pie van at the time, and they were like, <laughs> <laughs> they to clear of the evidence. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> well, I remember at school, we once, and I don't know why people keep chucking this kind of stuff at me, we walked past the cafeteria, which was j- called John at school. It's called uh, John. Uh, oh, doesn't remember. Um, I thought we'd get that in a second. Oh, uh, uh, He's People who went to school with us are screaming this now. The yeah, pie, the pie hole. No, good guess though. What was it called? Meat and eat. Meat oh, and there eat. we go. It was meat and eat. Meat and eat. Meat and eat. Yeah, you know oh, and it bed. wasn't meat as in protein. It was just meat. <laughs> as in meat, as in you go to meet your friends. That, that would be awful. And then eat your friends. <laughs> right. Meat and eat your friends. Meat and then eat them. Meat yeah. and then eat. Yeah. Anyway, the I always had a packed lunch. So... Lunch lady Doris no. came out. <laughs> I know. I just stole it. Such a. <laughs> <laughs> Our new school nurse, Lunch Lady Doris, came out um, <laughs> and I said, Boys, boys, it was just me and a couple of others walking boys! past. Going, boys, we've got too many sausage sandwiches, take them. What the fuck? Why does this only happen to yeah. you? You got free pies and free But it happened sausage. years ago. I've used up all my free stuff you, when you I was you young. You answered the question. Do you, oh, mean, uh, do I you, never got a free sausage happened. sandwich. Fuck, I'm so jealous. Oh, it was, I took about four. Oh my God, to you your, fucking bastard. To, uh, I wasn't there on that oh, fateful day, but do, no. you, do you remember uh, oh. a gangly child wearing a Pokemon t-shirt running from the direction of Wiltshire, <laughs> <laughs> knocking you down? <laughs> 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 yeah, that was a great day, which obviously I still remember. And when I woke up, <laughs> yeah, fuck me. And when I came to, well, I would. I'm glad you still remember that day. Yeah, because I would remember that day forever. See, it's all coming back to me as I speak you're starting to realize so often the case when i'm on this podcast (laughs) um and now i'm thinking that i've I've used up all my free stuff Mm. which is terrible Mm. that's that's the answer so i need to buy get my free stuff get a horseshoe pin it to the wall pin it the right way up so the luck doesn't pour out well it's got given two horseshoes there we go pin them but not upside down because the the luck drains out is that pin them the right way up what's the right way up like like it's a U. Okay. Yeah. Oh, like a cup. Not yeah, exactly. Like it's a cup. But like what's the, what's the, the right way up for like a horse? 
It's a good question. Probably not that. Uh, a horse on the wall <laughs> would not be good. That's quite a bad situation well, that, that's to not be. A very it's good a dead use horse, of space either. Probably. No, no. If you like stuff the whole horse. Well, if it's on the wall, it's off off the floor plan. It's not fucking with your feng shui then. Is no, it? but I reckon it would take up a significant foot to knee level That's of the true. house still, even that if it was true. mounted. So, so, but but seriously, she actually received horseshoes for it's a oh, wedding. It's a wedding. It? Oh, I know, yeah, I know. Yeah. I just, I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I did. Did you or Ali get any horseshoes? To be fair, no, we didn't. No, we yeah, did, she got. We, we didn't I think she any. was given one by my sister and one by somebody else. Oh, I see. Which yeah. is nice. Okay. We got a lot of nice gifts at the wedding. Pin them up, right way up. Get that luck. Yeah, okay. And then charge ah, up, then charge the, up for the charge up the luck. Yeah. The... Charge up the luck. Mm. Uh. Get it as like a like a medallion around your neck. Yeah. And then they'll be chucking them at you. Yeah. So hopefully in Lanzarote I will break this curse. Yeah. Well you'll report this... back on the podcast and then I'll I'll if this podcast is still operating in six months, then I'll then I'll <laughs> report it's back. As long as it has. Probably pretty It's incredible, isn't it? It's gonna last forever. Yeah. What uh, if we're not off now, we never will it's be. It's gonna outlive us all. What is the smallest value item you'd be satisfied receiving. I'm sorry, I had a little burp in the tank Lovely. there. You'll bet you would <laughs> oh, be our friend won't be happy with that. But you'd be happy receiving. Burp on the podcast. Um well we went to a hotel Fat in Bath the week after the wedding and we told them <clears throat> we just got married as well. And they left three individual chocolates on our bed. Okay. But I'm talking like Tiny milk tray sized chocolates, little ditties, like a chocolate buttons. They left three, more or less <laughs> three chocolate three buttons. Milky Way magic stars. <laughs> we were, I, 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 to be honest, cheeks, to be honest, I was like, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I was like, oh, that's that's a token gesture. I don't need it to be a decadent item. It makes it special, doesn't it? It yeah. makes it feel. It makes you feel special. Well, and it would you... reflect well on those brands, even though I would not social media it. No, because I've not got the time. But you've already had yeah. then by your own, own mm. admission, you've received three small chocolates. Yeah, but I didn't eat all of them. Liz had one. Uh, okay, but what I had, the, the, I had two. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you got it really, haven't you? But we took a photo of that. I think we took a photo of that and, and put it on, and social put it on media. Social. We did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Actually, right. we did. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. Here we go. So that's. Did They've done well out of that. Although I later complained to that hotel. <laughs> this, is why. Did, yeah. this is why. This is why. Do you suspect they share? There's like a network of yeah, hoteliers. Yeah. This so guy, why did you this complain? guy complain? Whatever you do. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you why. Tell me why. This Here is going go. off on. This is just me complaining about things now. Um, we had breakfast in bed one morning, which was lovely. Sure. Um, and then at the end of our stay, which was only a couple of nights, they said, "Oh, and the breakfast will be thirty pounds." Right. And we ate, we, Liz had had a bacon bap and I'd had a sausage bap. 30 quid! Fucking hell. So I went, I was sort of, at the hotel, I was like mystified, I was dumbstruck. Yeah. So that's... I didn't say anything. And then I complained afterwards and they said, yeah, fair enough, we should have let you know that you can have literally whatever you want within the set price of £15 per person. Oh, but they hadn't, right. They hadn't told us you can have anything. It's like bottomless brunch sort of thing. Holy again more pork that you could have had yeah, but we paid ah! for that we paid for that and they, but they hadn't made that clear and they were like yeah fair cop we'll uh we'll cut that bill in half if you go if if you're lucky enough to go to these kind of like bougie hotels mm. you know mm, these uh, pork hotels these pork hotels um that i need to find out about by the way yeah there's a sign above the door <laughs> <laughs> uh, but like you say bottomless pork <laughs> I didn't know you said Nick no, he said didn't, bottomless pork. He didn't pork. say that. I feel I heard bottom, <laughs> I bottomless said, pork I said, somewhere. I said brunch. Okay. <laughs> bottomless <laughs> bottomless, bottomless pork. pork. So, I mean, really, when the customer's always right, and maybe you've already paid at the door, uh, I mean, like, you know, if you ask for that pork to be delivered in a steel bucket... Oh, oh I box. see what you mean. Yeah, like, bring it to my house. Yeah. yeah. I, I suppose I could have gone that way with it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a lot of admin, to be honest. <laughs> But yeah, I could have gone that way with it. Send me sure. the pork I could have had. Yeah. Send me the pork <laughs> but we could have, I could have Yeah, we could genuinely have had. have had anything on the menu, like, and all of it. Mm. But they, had, they didn't tell us that. Bullshit. What's, like, the most, when you've had the option, mm. if you've ever had the option, what's the most absurdly decadent thing do you think you've done? Because someone else is paying, or you've already prepaid, and you're already in debt. <laughs> oh, I'll like, tell you, I'll tell you... One thing we did while we were away, which was great. Holy oh, yeah. shit. We had the best steak I've ever had Ooh. while we were away. Holy shit. Bold claim. Um, it tasted like cake. Probably was cake. Well, what? well it could, that sounds like a bad steak. No, no, but like incredible. Like so like melt in your mouth. Incredible. Like Holy a Terry's shit. chocolate orange. Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What a weird thing it's to say. Right. I know. <laughs> Well, I can't remember the, I can't remember the, the name of it now. door, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try and remember the name of it, but it was amazing. I would recommend Weirdly. anyone who's in that area to go to that place. Your description of a steak being so good, it was like a cake. 
has just done everything for me. Like, yeah. honestly, that... It was amazing. It's a very weird description, but I suddenly yeah. really want that steak. But I paid for it. That's the point. A lot of money. I, we, ate, we ate very well. What, in like a medical sense? <laughs> well, a little, yeah. Code blue. Yeah. Code blue. <laughs> code brown. We ate, we ate very well. was code brown. We ate very well during the week, but we did not receive any complimentary items, which is my bugbear of the week. I see. As well as the like dirty bathroom. So did you help yourself to as many bits of, from a hotel as possible? Um, like chandeliers. I <laughs> do those. No, I gave you some coffee. <laughs> You that did, yes. Yeah, it was yeah. a welcome pack. Okay. But again, uh, I mean, te- that sounds like a kind of like a free, kind of like a free item. No, I paid it? for that. I paid for that. I got some money off the, the where we stayed as well. I complained about that, and so <laughs> got some money off. No, I feel I feel it's a narrative. <laughs> it turns out if you complain, <laughs> yeah, people just give you money off. I feel like there's a there's a different perspective. We're we're not really we're we are of, learning. We're touching I, no, upon the perspective here. is I want what's coming to me. <laughs> yeah, and do you ever fear that one day you'll wake up, open your front door, and there'll be a line of chefs, waiters, no, and hotel staff? I feel like there is a quite out there. quite keen to give you what's coming to you. <laughs> no, because I am correct. No, no, I don't complain unless I'm right. What's absolutely most important here is that I've learned nothing yeah. <laughs> from this. Encounter. Why would I not? Why would I? be in trouble for something I'm right about. They just don't like it. It just seems as though you've you've complained. They should have cleaned it then. (laughs) I feel like you've complained at every establishment you've been in. Um, Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I. That's probably true recently. (laughs) Just just leave that hanging. I mean. (laughs) I love it. Yeah, well, you know. What a development. Even said the the steak was like a cake. What a twist in the tail. Yeah, this steak tastes so good, it's not even like steak. Take it back. Yeah, yeah. It's like Rung's crying back to the kitchen. Yeah. (laughs) I'm going to eat it all, but then take it back. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I like like a cake. I like a steak. I'm not sure I eat. But why should I just put up with stuff? A light, crumbly, vanilla-y steak is not really what I'm looking for. Well, a cake in in a good way. Okay. You'll know what I, if you go there. You'll know what I mean. Oh, okay. like I, guess I, I guess I'm ignorant, really. Yeah, that's, that's what absolutely. Yeah. I think we've learned that about you, John. <laughs> but yeah, I I won't complain about everything I go to in future, but no. I will continue this trend if there's something that's not to my liking. Sure, no, we'll, that's fine. We'll see. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe just go in with a bit more of a a bit less of the attitude. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I, it's that attitude. Liz will tell you as now. well. The place was very not clean or I dirty. No, I'm will. sure. Yeah. I don't doubt that. So, doubt that. anyway, give me free stuff, okay, please, as uh, well as your toothpaste. Yeah. Well, that. that's someone else's stuff that I've stolen. Have you complained? Sure. Have you complained? <laughs> Which is <Colgate>? better? <laughs> no, but I should, shouldn't I? Yeah, you should. My go. teeth don't feel any younger or funkier. Dear Colgate, I've been stealing your product for several <laughs> dear, years now. And dear <laughs> bastards. <laughs> <laughs> Have you considered giving me more? No, I get I get two free tubes of toothpaste every quarter. Yeah, and I think that's fair enough. Two, two a quarter. Oh, okay. That's really un- in- unacceptable. A man of your stature. Yeah. Reserved. Well, so you get one every one and a half months. Sure. If does you it, look at it like that. Does do. does yeah. it last or do you have to buy supplementary toothpaste? Oh, we have to buy supplementary. Oh, okay. Toothpaste. I'm okay. not an animal. No, no. I do buy. I do buy. Like contribute to the toothpaste economy. You buy like, like you buy like a hotel travel tube. Uh, that's maybe like an inch long of toothpaste. Um, yes. I feel like Christmas... no. We buy we buy the ones that are like liquid. Like um, they're not actual. They're more made of hard plastic than the squeezy ones. Oh, sure. I, they're Colgate. I think though. I see. We do yeah. buy Colgate products. Oh, he's giving a little love bag. Yeah. Oh well, they'll be all right. I think it's like a circle of life, really, yeah. isn't it? Like it all. I goes... think Colgate will be fine. Really? Okay, that's good to know. If they go under, but oh, based on, if they, oh, we went under based on two tubes a quarter. We're, li- we're missing supplement. two a quarter. Yeah, and it, this is it. This the is, numbers over, just guys. don't <laughs> add up. <laughs> um. So that, yeah, that's my fair hate. enough. You know, I want what's coming to me. <laughs> I've got hate. Okay. Um. Did you know there are different kinds of male, as in you, uh, male as opposed to female? Okay. And uh, and that we we need to be categorized. Oh, hang on, hang on a second. Give him a bottle opener. Bottle I'm going to need this. Right, okay, there please, you are. please you are continue. Giving... Yeah. Did you know that there's uh, such a thing as an alpha male? Oh, yes, yeah, no, I do. And uh, I want to preface this by saying that scientifically and logically uh. and realistically, oh. there is not such a thing as this, but that a large segment of the population believes that there is such a thing as oh. an alpha male. What is an alpha male? Um, okay. For the benefit of the listener. Sure. It's uh, a, probably a dickhead. 
Yeah, but fundamentally. That's, that's what I'm thinking, actually, yeah. <laughs> Someone who believes that they are better than the other guys. Yeah. Uh, that will um, uh, always get the girl. Yeah. Uh, that uses various pickup uh, techniques nice. to, to, to grab and, and otherwise assault, I would say. Yeah. Women who uh, don't really, aren't really that interested in them. Uh, but would consider that to be a macho and sure. a successful male trait. What it sounds like you're describing to me, Nick, is mm. toxic masculinity. Oh, Yes. Yes, I'd say that's, that's true. What I, that's what I would say. But did you, like, I thought there were alpha males, mm. right? And then there was everyone else, right? <laughs> and there were like six alpha males who thought they were fucking rad. <laughs> who live in a cave yeah. like, somewhere, I don't and know. And that everyone hates, right? Yeah, and that sure. everyone else just is getting the fuck on with their lives, you know? That's yeah. what I thought. But no, there's a whole fucking scale, right? Oh. There are sigma males. There oh. are beta males. There are delta males. There are gamma males. There are omega males. I'm so oh, sorry. There's omega fish. Isn't it? That's Fish uh, fingers. Omega oils. Yeah, exactly. Ah, yeah, yeah. Com- it's probably quite, it's probably connected. Yeah. Probably quite similar, I'd imagine. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's probably oil from an Omega Man. Yeah. There, 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 Just there, scrape yeah, it yeah. off with a screechy. So <laughs> what what category do we fall into? Do we have oh, done any research around this? I have done a bit of research, okay. yeah, but it became very unbearable very quickly. I can understand. Um, and I don't care about doing proper like mm. peer reviewed research for this show. It doesn't doesn't matter. I wouldn't be yeah, worried about, about that. Nobody cares about um, this show. No one's listening now. Exactly. Not now. We probably <laughs> don't. <laughs> we probably don't fit into any of them. Um, to be truthful, I, we're I, individuals. I could probably have a guess. Go on. Here I say. I say. Um, the closest there is one with the, that is the closest we fit into. I say we're well. Are we not a bunch of bases? Uh, oh well, he's kind yeah, of. He's, no, I suppose we probably are. Yeah. Yeah. Or we're omegas. What's oh, what's omega? omega? So an omega is someone who is in in an alpha's words, because because basically all of these are framed from an alpha's perspective, sure. right? So it's a way of an alpha feeling better about themselves, I guess. That's except for sigmas, which I'll get to in a second, right? Um, alphas, this is a minefield. This is I know. great, isn't it? Omegas, in alpha's words, would be woke. Oh, I see. They would be. Uh, they would give a shit about diversity and feminism. They would oh. give a shit about equality. Um, but in an alpha's eyes, too much of that. A bit too politically correct, you know. A um, bit of a white knight, perhaps. I've never heard of Omegas. No, no neither, no, I, neither no, I until no. I dived into this fucking shithole. No. Um, but truthfully, you're probably right, John. We probably do more fall into betas because betas are the people that alphas dominate. Oh. We are the prey that alphas step upon in order to. We're the, we're the kind of guys who, can you believe it, are happy to be friends with women. So, <laughs> so when I, oh, what a bunch of idiots. So, um, obviously, obviously, there's no science to this. This is not a a, a, a measure of biology Could or not life be more or lacking or the science. natural kingdom at all. And yet, if I would crack a, a booster pack of Pokemon cards, uh, in a, <laughs> like just now, let's get back uh, to that. I mean, um, I feel uh, that would make you. A I could, I could very clearly <laughs> tell. Who was coming to steal my lunch money? Oh, for like, sure. I feel that. Oh, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I think I think without a, a shred of a doubt, it's going to be an alpha coming at you. Now, well, an alpha. It sounds like a positive term, that's, doesn't it? That's the issue I have with it. Yeah, yeah. It yeah. sounds like it's a positive term, which many these days, especially, would argue that it isn't. Absolutely, myself included. I think alphas would, though. I think they would agree it's a positive. Yeah, term. but they're stupid. They are. They? They're they're thick by their nature. Now, at least one person in this room Uh-oh. plays and enjoys football hello so i say that's probably i don't think it's fair to say that's an alpha characteristic oh i see but i would say it's fair that a lot of alphas like football mm. but i would say but in the in, i'm not an alpha male. in the clear i don't want you telling people that john it, you're not an alpha male but, but in, uh, in i the, can tell you that but now. what i'm saying is in the masculinity wars which are inevitably coming oh uh, i think they've begun i, I mean already. um i mean uh, i think i feel chris ray would be the we uh, would gather around chris ray and be safe in his shadow yeah but we wouldn't survive that much longer than if we but didn't. I w- yeah i would still try and use my words yes that's the difference that is the difference i would still try to use my words oh, would, that's a i'd be worse than useless in a fist fight oh like, yeah. i'd go down in seconds yeah and then you fall on us yeah and that, exactly, and yeah, exactly. you'd like yeah. get trapped under my body because i've had so many pies yeah, that's i know true. you'd throw, <laughs> throw the one that you had and, then... yeah, and my weak bookish limbs would be unable to <laughs> and then you just you'd just be sitting ducks then yeah my pokemon cards would do nothing to defend me yeah. and that'll be it there we there we are It'd be all over charizard go oh wait it's, a, it's cardboard <laughs> man that'd be good to watch so sigmas uh oh sigmas are an opportunity for alphas who want to be a bit different to the other alphas oh so my this god is... can they evolve i think they damn can. it i can't the alphas made, I... are evolving <laughs> i made a pokemon reference i'm doomed <laughs> you do your fun <laughs> yeah they're coming for you now 
Um, so an alpha who is like doesn't want to toe the line, a bit alternative, oh, like, a bit yeah. of a lone wolf. Oh, oh ooh, that, uh, yeah. yeah, that's a sigma. So that's oh. someone who is just as strong, just as cool, just as good with women as an alpha, right. but doesn't have a pack, doesn't rely on dominating others, but is this this cool lone lone wolf type of character. Kind Holy of, shit! That's I mean, someone sigma. spent their life writing about this i know god i think that's what most alphas spend most of their time doing <laughs> I, <laughs> I think yeah now, i i know i've heard of obviously heard of alpha male is mm -hmm. an older concept um i've heard of uh beta males yes because I, I i i heard that and i realized it was meant to be derogatory but i very clearly realized well that's kind of it's a term that's only been created in context with alphas yeah like, it's not mm. actually a term but i think i i listened to i i listened to something about concept of like alpha males and how apparently in the 80s there was like a few studies on yes. wolves yes now, oh, okay clearly we're coming uh, from i was i was going to i was ah, going right, to allude right, to this right, yeah but yeah. no you you go for it you go for it well no because I, I listen to this podcast that does a lot of uh debunking oh yes and they have this whole thing about how they did some study of of male or of wolves and they were like in wolf culture there's an alpha male this is this is where the myth began is the wolf is the alpha wolf the leader it's, mm. it's kind of like the most successful. This is the idea that there's it, one big wolf. It's, it's a myth that's been pervaded for years that, mm. that has been thought to come from nature. And, and it's not just wolves. Like lions might have an alpha lion or whatever. Like predatory pack animals. Sure. There'll be an alpha male, right? That's that's always been the 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 language, the phrasing of it, right? But, yes. then, but then they did a study. Oh. And, and, and basically, yeah, just the idea that like, yeah, there's in wolves in mm. nature you know and humans give us a lot they look at like they look at like nature how can we apply ourselves yes mm. and they go and they go like uh well in nature the hawk takes what it wants <laughs> and that's how we should live oh. you know and, we're animals too so we're, obviously we're based on the same because really we're fucking idiots yeah like deep down, yeah but, um, but then i think they found that ultimately like it doesn't a, exist that's just not a thing it's it completely was, it was bullshit. bad research it was it, it was it was it wasn't oh, even enough. research it was an assumption that yeah. was made that due to well we're quite different to animals who would have yes, thought it's right? funny that yeah, yeah we were, but not only that it doesn't exist in animals either like it, oh. it is literally just bullshit across the board it, yeah. Is, yeah. it is not a thing there is no such thing as an alpha male in like, a pack there's no such thing as an alpha male at all and but these guys <laughs> these these <laughs> These guys, dense chaps, yeah. shall we say, have really grabbed hold of this concept mm. and are and are running hard oh, oh, with their erections. Do, fully they, up. do they tell everyone they're alpha? Oh so. yeah. So mm. just do a quick YouTube search, and you will see them. Uh, don't actually, please don't, yeah, because I won't. it'll I won't. ruin your algorithm. It's ruined mine. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> you'll just see a load of videos of guys self-proclaimed alphas talking about what makes an alpha an alpha. Oh god. I feel it's like there's a Venn diagram of like alpha male online reddit mm. culture mm. and then here's another circle and it's like stocks and trading oh yeah and here's another circle which is like um success and improve self-improvement gurus entrepreneurs yeah, yeah and, well I, and i feel there. and i just feel like there's like this sweet spot in the middle where like all the hells converge <laughs> oh, and that's, for sure and yeah. that's an alpha yeah 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 agreed agreed yeah, yeah. i i would actually love to because I imagine there's a lot of like Reddit circles where you can like oh I'm sure chat uh, like r slash I don't understand Reddit but like no I am aware of Reddit I get it believe a bit. it or not but you could like r slash slash Star Wars and talk about Star Wars or go like r slash Alpha males or whatever I'd like to just like kind of slide in and go and just go hey guys I'm um. I've realised quite late in life that I'm an alpha male. Hello. And, I mean, hello. You've already, you've already failed. You've already, that kind of language means you've already failed the test. Hello, friends. Uh, hope Hi. It, hope Hi, it's guys. Okay. I just logged on to Reddit because I just discovered late in life hey that, guys, I'm a, that I'm a bit of an alpha. I'm really sorry to uh, disturb you, but um, I hope it's okay. But uh, what I've been yeah. thinking is, and, 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 and do correct me and, and step yeah. in if I'm wrong. I'm but, so sorry. But what I think is that I, I may also be one of these alphas that, that you got. And, and I just wondered if I, you could be friends. I wondered if I wondered if you agreed and if we could be best friends forever. If you, but if I'm you so don't sorry, agree, but I'm so sorry that I've disturbed your. If you don't agree, chat. don't worry. And um, I, I love my wife. Oh shit! No, okay. <laughs> delete. <laughs> but this is my point. It's like prove me. Hashtag prove me wrong. Just, yeah, right. Just go into the chat. You could just say you are. Hey guys, Thursday poll. What do we prefer more? Summer fruit salad or uh, <laughs> grape juice? Let's. Uh, yeah. What's more refreshing? Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. If you could just say you are one. I mean, who can say that you aren't one? Yeah, I don't really. Yeah, I'm still. I'm. I'm actively thinking about it, and I don't really know what it means. I d yeah, I don't think. It, I know. I can picture the kind of person who would 
identify as that and who other people might refer to as that. Yeah. But I still don't really know what it means. I feel like there's a million and one definitions. Yeah. And every alpha is desperately trying to carve out his own definition and identity. But surely if you want, you're you're so keen to say, I'm an alpha, I'm this, I'm that. It's like... No, oh, you're obviously not that confident. It's just a word. You're not, you're not that. Yeah. Uh, you're not I think that, you may um, have hit upon a, a, self, a deep truth. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Self-confident yeah. or whatever. Uh, agreed. Maybe I'm tearing apart the alpha males now. Oh, well, hopefully. Maybe all the alpha males that listen to this show, and I assume there's quite a lot. Oh, well, uh, I bet there are. 98% of the our demographics. The demographics are mostly is, alpha males. Yeah. We were yeah. pretty... Uh, Chunk bros. ...are now rethinking their life decisions. Big pretty fans. chatty sort yeah. of show, this, yeah. isn't it? Bruh. <laughs> Love a chad. Sup, bruh? Hey, sup, bruh? At what tier of maildom gives you kind of like superpowers yeah like if you're think... a, if you're a gamma male um radiation. a gammy that's, gamma. A ra- that's a radiation joke i can't Gamo. remember i can't remember deltas and gammas to be honest they exist but i can't remember by the, the logic of, of this though because mm. like i honestly for the longest time thought it was only like alphas and betas alpha and and everyone else yeah and, and I, betas, I thought like yeah. betas were just like you know they wore tweed and occasionally glasses or something like that yeah. or you know liked liked a book you know but are, are oh, we but... with all this all these different terms trying to put everyone in a box yes and say you're this you be that now I just, again but, i think the alphas are doing this the real world down alphas. those alphas the real world is, but my point is like, surely they're not intelligent enough to come up with these kinds of concepts no they're not no, no. these are just like they, psycho- the psychologist version of an alpha but by, but, yeah. but by this logic should we not be rejoicing because my whole life i thought i've been put in a box called you're a beta male. And yeah. I'm like, this is my life. I have, to, I have to live with this. And now I'm suddenly discovering there's delta males, there's gamma males. But now you're can I, a, can now I you're bully a... them is what we're saying. Oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, probably. Yeah. 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 Where do we stand on the hierarchy? Yeah. Well, do we know? the problem is from, from what I've read, betas are just the worst. Oh, oh, yeah. well. And, and that, and that even but we're though, not betas. I think to be honest, we're ome- omegas. We, we could be omegas, but to, to be honest, and here's my big worry is that I think the omega term only exists for betas to try and feel better about themselves. I see. So it's a term that betas came up with really? in a way to fit. It's exactly the same as sigmas, right? So so there's too many alphas out there, and some of the alphas wanted to stand out from the other alphas because they're better than those. So they came up with sigmas so that they could have a level up. Right? I see, yes. And then and then betas were like the nice guys, right? And there and there's loads of people thinking, well, I do want to be a nice guy, but also I want to be better than the other nice guys. Yeah. So I know I'll come up with omega. I want to be I want to be so nice that I leave the other nice guys trailing in my way. And I want to kick up. No <laughs> wait, no, I want to put. No wait, no, I want to be nice. Yeah. So nice. Well, um, actually, in the Marvel ranking system of mutants, Omegas are the most powerful. Oh no, I've just proved their point. Yes. <laughs> is, that, is that true? That so, is true, actually, yeah. So beta. Jean Grey is an Omega-level mutant. Oh, I'm sure you like her because she's a woman and you're friends with her. <laughs> yeah. I have a poster of her. <laughs> yeah, exactly. what's, the, what's the terminology for like just a great bunch of guys? Just a, just a bunch just of lads. A great just bunch a bunch of lads. great bunch of guys just having fun. Uh, doing a podcast, maybe. Just a bunch maybe, of... maybe doing a podcast. Maybe, maybe not. Podcast. But maybe they are doing Maybe there's three of them. Having a few drinks. Maybe they've got a just drink or two. Just a bunch of quintessential dudes broing out on a Friday evening. And maybe the shirts come off. Maybe they don't. Maybe, but we're yeah. all having a... Br- maybe a bit of skin on skin. Maybe we're there just isn't. Having a br- I mean, we laugh about it. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Maybe that happened. We all go home and never speak about it again yeah <laughs> to our wives yeah <laughs> oh hello yeah we're betas yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um i've got hate mm. oh my and this one is hello choice oh the illusion of choice i hate oh god no 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 sorry not no no as in like chef's kiss or choice oh i see yeah you didn't G- do this chef's kiss give give me a bottle opener give yeah. me i give hate me adverts for 4d <laughs> cinema <laughs> okay yeah, I, it's garbage i have never wanted to crawl inside my own skin and die more than when you're in the cinema and you are forced to sit through that utter shit so 4d show. just so i'm clear well indeed have you been to a 4d experience no i i think i've been to one for like a short thing at the madam two swords Oh, house. The, the Madame Two Swords house. The Madame Two Swords house. <laughs> you know, in London town. Yeah, her house, I, I believe. It's one where they they like blow air in your face. All sorts of shit happens to you. Yeah. You get wet and things. There's wet. There's air. There's the seat moves around. You get punched in the back of the head. A yeah. lot goes on. And there's also th- there's also three D. And there's a cinema. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think it's three D. Well. well, it's three D, yeah. and you get punched in the face. Well, essentially, yes. Okay. So, I mean... Kidneys. A lot of punching in the kidneys. A lot of punching in the kidneys. Yeah. Now, so our story begins... What an immersive experience. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. Just like all movies. Our story begins maybe a million years ago with the evolution oh. of, the, of the optic nerve. I mean, 
drop in. We're going to be here a while. Are we starting there? Okay. Yeah, no, with the evolution of the optic nerve, in which humans mm. uh, developed an ability to perceive three-dimensional space from a two-dimensional image. Sure. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fast Slow forward. down, Slow nerd. down, fast Professor fo Omega. Fast, fo <laughs> fast forward a million years to the 1970s, and some bright spark said, well, we have cinema, but it's flat. Nobody's ever been able to understand how... It's flat how it's shit. It, yeah, yeah, it's got to be 3D. It's got to be. So we get the goggles. Yeah. We get the red and green. And, and, what, and what an experience. Anamorphic. Jaws leapt out at the screen and bit my dick off. <laughs> so <Yeah>. sorry. <laughs> Uh, that's straight. That's where you went. I could tell before you even finished the word "dick." There, it was coming. You were really regretting that. I was regretting it. Yeah. He was halfway through "dick" and he just like went, "Oh shit!" I backed out of it. Yeah. True beta. Go on. Okay. Mm. So, so there's that 1970s Jaws dick, and then <laughs> yeah, and then present day, present you day. got your Avatar, James Cameron, Blues Brothers shakes that give you yeah. 3D. Yeah. And you might think to yourself, three dimensions. <laughs> What's next? It can't possibly go any further. No, wouldn't have thought so. Now, Surely there isn't anywhere it could go. But the, the cinema industry, dying on its ass, let out one kind of, like, final death knell. Just before we get to that, yeah, is, like, the sense of touch a dimension? It's a good question. Powerful question. No. I would Start, argue... No. no. Uh, so why is it... Oh, we, could, we shouldn't get into this, but why is it called 4D? Because well, uh, and what are the first two dimensions? There's another dimension. Sight and sound. Up and down. I think you're confusing senses with dimensions. Yeah, maybe I am. <laughs> yeah. But then, the, but then if the, yeah, but they're confusing but them too. The, the word maybe is doing a lot of heavy lifting in that <laughs> sentence. The three dimensions of the up, down, left, and right, and, and back. Yeah. But then yeah. the fourth dimension seems to be a sense. Funny like, smell. And the fifth dimension is like back in time. Sure. Well, or yes, side to the side. fourth dimension would be time. One would imagine. So some people anyway. would say, yeah. And then there are apparently let's... 12 spatial dimensions, so who the fuck knows? Let's not sit around talking about stuff we don't know. Like, exactly. Indeed, Carry on. Yeah. Let's definitely not do that. But my point is... Answers on a postcard. Even before COVID, the c mm. cinemas were dying on their ass. Very much because so. of, Because of things like uh, DVDs and, and, and also... Big screen telly. And also streaming services. My telly is massive. Yeah. Indeed, and and, and to brag. bully for you. It's really big. Yeah, too much electricity in your house, but tongue, but one great. Well, the electricity's TV. in the water. It's it's disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's only in one room. <laughs> I collect it all in a bag. Yeah. And your TV only works when the bath is running, but yeah, that's uh, that's fine. That's the same yeah. one, right? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but so they're like, okay, we need a gimmick. Mm. If everyone can watch anything at home by pressing a button, what have we got that they don't? What have we got that they don't? So they're like, the only way we're going to get them in is if we charge. 50 quid for a seat and you have to wear a seat belt and that seat's going to rock about <laughs> yeah and 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 it's going to like <laughs> rock about it's going to rock about and it's going to spray snow in your face Maybe. and you'll get the smells that they're smelling on the screen to some extent the thing is the marketing people must be earning their money there because people are effectively paying for torture yeah yes That's yeah what it is it's an experience and yeah. I, but but i kind of imagining like it, you know they've built you this chair which will go like Whoa. Yeah. As if, like, if your character happens to be in a spaceship, yeah. but if you're watching, like, Spider Man, oh and my god, and, and, and then it's like, uh, I'd actually like, bye, Aunt like May, to... I'm going to school, and he just walks down the stairs, and the chair's going, whoop, 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 yeah. whoop. I mean, you're going to be sick in moments. Here's surely. the thing I have seen one 4DX film. Here we go. And what, it, what, what was it? Gremlins. Oh. They did a, they did a sort of retro, ooh, we're showing gremlins again. And we Ali and I had never seen a 4D film before. And we're like, this is our this is this, this is, is our, our moment. This yeah. is our time. We're gonna go see gremlins again, but we're gonna see it in cinema and we're gonna see 4DX. It's gonna be hilarious. Yeah. And <laughs> it was garbage, right? <laughs> because the experience is so weird. It's so distracting that I can't even really remember the film very well. <laughs> like, <laughs> there's the noise of the chairs. It's like, <laughs> Clang. It just clang. takes you right out of the But movie. one of the weirdest things they do with the movement of the chair, because the chair can really move. I can't suggest enough how much that chair can move. Far more than I thought. Because you think, like, oh, rows and rows of seats, it's not going to move as much as, like, a theme park. I like, the idea they, I like the idea the chairs just shouldn't be moving. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's just what they do every it, day. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, it, it, really, it really moves about, right? And wow. what they do is when the camera pans across the scene, mm. the chair moves. So the immersion... Is making you feel as though you're the cameraman. You're the cameraman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one wants to feel like they're the cameraman. You want to feel like the the action is affecting you in some way. So if there was an explosion on the screen, yeah. maybe the chair shakes or whatever, which it does do as well. Yeah. But why the fuck would it swing me around? Yeah. And it feels kind of it makes me a bit motion sick actually as well. 
why would I swing around when the when the viewpoint changes in the film? You're not meant to notice the camera. You're not meant to notice the viewpoint. Yeah. Mm. That's very weird. Yeah, I would much rather someone like blowtorch me in the face. Sure, right. An explosion than they do that. There was one thing for I an think an immersive experience. There was one thing that worked. One thing that worked and it I feel like it only worked specifically for Gremlins. Mm. But there was one thing that the 40X experience does where I don't know how it works but something touches the backs of your ankles. Okay. Right? So it's as though something's under your chair and rushing past the back of your feet like a rat or something. Yeah. And of course in Gremlins there's lots of scenes where they're scuttling about mm. in the background or, or or through the kitchen cupboards or at the floor level or whatever but you don't the camera doesn't catch up with them. And they did that for those moments. And right. that was quite effective because yeah. I was like like, oh, they're everywhere. They're, surely, they're even under my chair. Surely, does that mean they can only adapt movies to 4D that happen to feature rats in but some context? But this is my point. Yeah. How does that ankle bit work with, say, Fast and the Furious? What do they do then? It's, it, is it a little you, bit you, diesel you, down you, there? <laughs> you feel so then I, I you feel, feel like so... a franchise like Fast and Furious, 4D, 4 Furious. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Um, would probably tailor its output around that rather than you go back and retroactively well put rats in the first <laughs> fast and furious film <laughs> just add the rats yeah someone's gonna add the rats but i feel like they would deliberately write a script that was like oh this is gonna be 4d we need to use the functionality so let's, let's do this and just write this in for no apparent maybe, reason maybe apart from 4d but you do wonder don't you because it's like any scene where like a character's like in a kitchen mm. and you're like you get the smell of baked beans yeah or something I, it, the the experience feels as though every scene, no matter what's happening, yeah, the the 40x is like we well, we've got to do something. Got to do something. Because yeah. they've paid their ticket. Like yeah, every yeah. scene has got to be doing something. So it is. Like... I feel like the smell <laughs> thing would probably be quite effective. There wasn't a smell aspect to the one I did no, at all. But certainly. I feel like if they did do that, mm. like generally, they'll yeah, do yeah, like, weather, like weather conditions. So it will start raining. So, so, some of them do. Yeah, there's water, start there's water and yeah. cool air. So cool air is quite effective because mm. if you're out in the if the scene is in the snow or if there's water, for example, the cool air will blow. And that that was okay. The water, okay, it's a bit of a gimmick. It's very distracting. Stops you, breaks you out of the film completely. Yeah. But it happens. Sure. Okay. Fine. There's water. That'll I guess. Do. Yeah. What I find really uh, bizarre is that like uh, humans uh, re develop books. They did. As like a concept. And it's I've read a book. Kind of like this amazing mm. thing happens where you're kind of reading words mm. and then your brain kind of paints a picture. Sure. And it's funny because you kind of feel like you're in the story, even mm. though it's just a piece of paper. I've got a uh, counterpoint to this, though. And then there's movies. Yeah. And uh, movies have been around for quite a while and people enjoy yes. a lot of movies. Mm. And I did not need, uh, you know, for example, I'm watching Star Wars. Yeah. I'm enjoying it on the screen. I do not need the air to be pumped out of a room uh, so I can suffocate. To create a convincing experience vacuum. of a va the vacuum of space is no. what I'm saying. The problem with all of what you've just said there, John, is that you're a fucking nerd. Yeah. Oh, you're, I see. You're a yeah. big old beta yeah. who reads books and yeah. is able to imagine things. Your words are hurting me, so I'm going to dive <laughs> into this. <laughs> I'm going to page master my way into this book. <laughs> see, I never cared for 3D very much. No, no. no that's... Either. I remember when Shit. Sky Sports brought, said, we're going to do a 3D football match. Wow. Um, and you have to have a certain kind of telly and all that. So a few of the pubs bought these tellies. Oh, really? Because they, they'd been marketed to. And I remember the first game when 3D was Man United v Chelsea. Okay. Years ago. <laughs> like probably about 14, 15 years ago. And um, you could not get a seat in a pub for love nor money. Really? That weekend. People were all. excited. We managed to get one at like the back of a pub so you could barely see the screen. Quick question. Go on. Aren't um, football games historically filmed from a kind of bird's eye view? They are. Quite they, far they, away. They Quite made far their away. Own channel, so they had a different commentary team. Okay. Different cameras. For 3D. For 3D. So they sent two commentary teams, two camera crews, just wow. to tailor around this 3D. Okay. And did you wear glasses then? Yeah, so we wore glasses in the pub and it was shit. I said it was. It was shit. So it never caught on and they just got rid of it. But it? surely it only works from a particular perspective in, yeah, in the room well, as well, the, yeah. The screen was maybe two by three inches in my yeah halfway vision, across the room so to yeah speak. yeah um so it just didn't work at all and then i did do one a few months later when it was close and i still thought this is shit yeah this doesn't do anything it like, doesn't know it doesn't it, it doesn't it's awful thing. if anything yeah. i miss stuff i yeah. miss details yeah and then yeah. even movies i prefer 2d yeah definitely i think okay so i think on that note i think what we've established is we're starting from a really shaky foundation mm. of the product being shit yeah. sure yeah let's say so then you're already in the cinema you're paying a lot to mm -hmm. watch a movie you could probably just watch at home yes for free like gremlins uh, kind of for free but you know what i mean uh and then you know they go turn off your phone you fucking animal enjoy yeah. the movie's about to start turn off your phone mm. all right i'm sorry mm. here's another half hour of adverts 
about cinemas. Yeah, right. so about they, the very place you're already they, in. Yeah, because you are literally a captive audience. Yeah. You cannot escape. <laughs> and, and they are making you <laughs> strapped in. watch adverts now about how good cinemas are and you should keep paying to come to the cinema and you mm. should pay more to watch 4D. Yes. I so, resent that about cinemas. So I, I've watched uh, two movies in recent months. Oh. I've seen Sh- you. Shang-Chi. Yeah, that was good. That and was I've good. seen uh, the new Bond movie. Oh, Time to die. No, no time no, to die. No, <laughs> no, comma. No, comma. No, time, time to, to die. die. No, colon. Time to die. Oh, colon time. No, hyphen. My colon's dying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but my point down. My point is, when we saw Shang Chi, mm. it was uh, there was an advert before it. Oh, there was for the magic of 4D cinema. Uh-oh. And they have to frame it because they they realise, they think the audience are idiots. Well, we, well, they we are. think well, so. They've got li- a point. They think so little of you. Mm. They have to. You're already in there. You're already paying. They've got to insult you while you're there. For sure. sure. So the well there's a. They've got to frame the advert around a movie. Mm. It's not enough to say that. Forty X is cool. Yeah, it's not enough to say like, hey, it's great. You should try it. They've got to hint, f- f- hang. This flimsy advert off, off, off the thing of here's a cool movie that's coming out. Yeah. So there's that, uh, that Ryan Reynolds movie, Free Guy. Free Guy. That was actually quite good. Was it? It's on Disney Plus. Well, it? you, but you could watch that at home. I have done. Well, there watch, we it, go. watch it at home. Yeah. But my point is, they go, okay, Free Guy has come out. Mm. It's about video games. Yes, it is. So let's get three pro gamers. Oh. And we will film an advert where they go to the cinema and they are all going to sing the praises of 4D. <sighs> because they well, that's, watched influ- a- that's influencer marketing. It that's is. Exa- yeah. That's precisely what that is. But it's, 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 it's I have been vile, is what I'm saying. Oh, it's vile, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been, like. I've been influenced to never, never purchase 4 i I'll be honest with you, John. I didn't know there was such a thing as a pro gamer. <laughs> but- <laughs> You're learning that now. Yeah. Oh, sweet, sweet summer child. Yeah. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. People get uh, paid for play- playing. And, and the that worst ad- thing about yeah. the cinema Okay, is, tell me more. Yeah. Um, and I'm going off track a bit here. Okay. I'm sorry. You're I've sorry. paid to be there a hefty sum. Oh, yeah, I yeah. Add. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of money. And then they advertise to me for 25 minutes. I realise this yeah. is a very outdated argument about no, cinemas. No, no. However, I feel very strongly about it. But it's come round again because we've all had two years of not going to the cinema. Mm. But I pay a TV licence for the BBC you to do. not watch adverts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I pay for Netflix to not watch adverts. Sure. I pay for Amazon to not watch adverts. I pay for Disney Plus to not watch adverts. And they don't give them to me. They don't. Mm. To their credit, they don't give them to me. That's true. I pay more than that for a one-off visit to the cinema and all they do is advertise to me. It's true. It shouldn't be allowed. No, it's true. Because it's I illegal. paid that much just to see the feature. They are so desperate, though. Because they know it's a dying it's a dying medium. So they're like, we need to... But that's always been a problem. Gimmick, gimmickize it. We need to... Mm. But that's just the noise anyway. Mm. Okay, anyway. So, I'm going off track there. So, that's just a, a microaggression. Anyway, I think we've mentioned it on air in the past, but there was a time when Nick and I and Lucy and Ali, mm. Big Punch, were, I wasn't, I wasn't were, were no. briefly approached. And they, and they actually said in the email, do not involve that Chris Ray fellow. Yeah, that's fair. We were briefly You'll approached. Only <laughs> And how? And how? <laughs> to uh, potentially illustrate a graphic novel. graphic novel. I do. I think I do know about based this. on a YouTuber, yeah, an influencer this. pro gamer chat, an influencer pro gamer gamer YouTuber. And that gentleman, I'm, I'm not allowed to say the name. Are we going know? to say the name? Can we say the name? I feel like we probably can. Oh yeah, Ali A. Yeah. He's called Ali A. Yeah. Ali A. I mean, I do. A I do. real for the benefit of the listener who think I'm being excluded because I'm sure they worry about it. They do. He's I a real. Know about this. Yes. He's a Thank real you. Tesco's own brand vanilla magnum of a man, uh, <laughs> and he uh, he is featured in this advert. Uh, he's one of the pro gamers. He's one of the pro gamers. Oh. And they, it, mm. but they 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 bring in three pro gamers and they make them all well. They all watch Free Guy, but in a different format. One watches I think, uh, regular. IMAX. No IMAX. Yeah. One watches 4D. Yeah. Yes. And one watches 4D. Yeah. 40x, yeah. And they all have to talk about well, they're being paid. This is sure. why I'm just like, why is this an advert? But then you can't slag off the movie. No, but this is my point. I'm like, I can't believe anything that's been described to me. And they're literally saying stuff like, I play video games and I'm watching this film and I'm like, I recognize these things because mm. it's a movie about video games. Yes. And then the <laughs> chair was moving. 
Wow. Um, how immersive. Yeah. Um, mm. The problem with that as a theorem <laughs> yeah. is that they don't play their video games in 4D. No. no, it's true. So surely they would prefer it in the 2D format. Capacity that you they indeed, to indeed, play indeed, in yeah, games. I do like IMAX. Things. I do like IMAX. Well, while I'm not complaining about cinema for a moment. My, yeah. Well, my, my thing is that that advert was so toe-curling that I was kind of going through convulsions while it was happening. Yeah. Mm. And then uh, last yeah. night, uh, we saw the new Bond movie. Yes. No Time. No Time to Die. No. Colon. It's Time to Die. No Please. Time 2. Yes, because it's a sequel. Die Furious. No Time 2. Is no, number two. no Time 2. Die. die. 3. Because it's the third movie. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yeah. 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 I think that's it. I love that movie. Yeah. So we saw... <laughs> No, no I've, not, I've not seen it. We Is saw. It good? Uh, it was, yeah, I enjoyed it actually. Good. It was all right. Yeah. yeah oh, we saw no I'll no time to die. No time to die. And the 4DX advert uh, before it oh. was about Shang Chi. Oh. So it was a bit of a different tack because it was about Shang Chi. Chi. So they got in all the actors from Shang Chi ah, and the director to watch their own movie and talk about and this is where what, I was what an ordeal and I, I, I was looking in the, I was looking in their eyes and I could see like the lights have just gone out and they're saying and they're literally saying stuff like 4D is the only way to see a film when we were shooting this scene oh no we were all picturing how it would be experienced oh, in 4D oh you're kidding me this is the only way this scene can be enjoyed and interpreted what okay. I, th I thought you were going to say something like when I was watching the movie in 4D it was like I was back on set doing yeah. the stunts that I <laughs> that feeling I... slightly nauseous from the craft dinner yeah I did enjoy yeah. that movie though in 2D oh I like Shang-Chi yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. did I don't think his that's in voice question. remind you of Ryan Reynolds Every time the guy spoke who played Shang-Chi, Shang Shang his voice reminded me of Ryan Reynolds, which was weird. Oh, I uh, don't... Well, we're on free guy. I actually... Yeah, didn't no that. thoughts I enjoyed his, that. I enjoyed his performance very much, but yeah. I, you know a really cool fact about Shang-Chi while, while we're on it? The guy who plays Shang-Chi, and forgive me, I don't know his name, but he is fa famous... I know, I think I know this. ...for being a stock photo model. Yeah. <laughs> so all the stock photos in offices, you see. Yeah, He's you in can, a lot of them. So now the memes are just exploding online because, of course, you can find Shang-Chi doing anything. You can find Shang-Chi in a yeah. conference room. You can find Shang-Chi cleaning windows on the side of a skyscraper. It's incredible. You can find pictures Great of Great stuff. It's, stock photography is going to take over the world one it day. It really is. I think, it's, I think it's a new thing, to be honest. It's yeah. exciting. It's going to be yeah. huge. The internet's going to be massive. But anyway, back to 4D. That's really... Well, I mean, that's it. I, just, I agree. I, I, I felt agree. for all the actors. I mean, I know they were paid probably quite handsomely to lie. But they looked like um, there was death behind well, their eyes. They're contractually eyes. obliged to... To say these things, I would but imagine. I, I, the idea that it's the best way to see a film is garbage. But laughable. I, but I, I would go out on a limb and I would just say, and, and come at me, sue me if you will, but I think that everybody in both those adverts is lying. Yeah. yeah. I don't think anyone would, would go through the 4D no, they, ordeal. They probably believe what they're saying because they've been paid to believe it. I, well, they've been paid to... The 4 deal. ...kind of stamp down the, their feelings and, and emotions and, and whatever right, so. I felt sorry for them but then I also thought about the checks they received they probably got a nice check yeah I think they did okay. but I, I don't think any artiste would ever willingly say well nobody would nobody would ever do anything if they weren't paid John what if they what if someone said uh, we want to put the Afterlife Inc your comic yeah. on the big screen in a four, in, but in purely 4DX experience mm. how would you feel about I that I think I'd just kind of um, I'd, I'd uh, you know I'd go that's great and then I'd kind of walk out into the woods and just um, quietly end it yeah. okay. if, I'm, if I'm honest no, 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 no. Yeah. honesty is what I wanted so yeah. thank you but yeah. you'd die a millionaire uh, I, what a way to go I <laughs> yeah. suppose I mean I just I cannot imagine any even if it was a cynical project even if you did not care about the film you were making mm. but then they said John <laughs> we love your work great love sure. the film have you seen it it's irrelevant love the film <laughs> yeah. uh we'd like you to give you this blank check yeah and we want you to just sit in this chair in front of this camera and tell everyone about how when you were shooting this incredible emotional scene where you know but this this girl finally says good says goodbye to her mother yeah uh this heartfelt scene it's a bambi um, you were filming uh, it was Bambi 2. Bambi 2. Yeah. Uh, 2 Bambi, 2 the, Furious. The Bambining. Uh, <laughs> uh, 2 Bambi, 2 Thumper. There we go. That's a, that's, that's a Bambi reference. Uh, and, and when you felt all that emotion, we want you to sit in front of this camera and for 30 seconds, we want you to look dead down the barrel of the gun mm. and tell everyone that when you filmed that scene and everyone on set was crying yeah. from the raw emotion of it, you were picturing in your head how some poor sod would be strapped <laughs> to a vibrating chair. 
<laughs> being sprayed by artificial tears yeah. from the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, and, and you're gonna and you're gonna take the money. And you're gonna you're gonna tell everyone that that was the only way to enjoy the film. Yeah, they're not even artificial tears; they're real tears. Real tears. <laughs> the thing is, one day that could happen, and then people would just reference this episode of the podcast. Wouldn't that be fun? That would be great. Yeah. If one day you like like let's say Afterlife Inc. is made into a film, and you go on high definition <laughs> camera and say all that, and then and it'd probably be me actually. Goes okay. back because we won't be friends when you're famous. I won't be alive at that. Point. Um, <laughs> and I'll just say, well, listen to episode ninety, whatever the fuck gives this is. A shit. So uh, of, you, of... you in thirty years' time with a pie in hand, <laughs> yeah. sitting in a, in a cinema. Seat. Listen to the episode of a show called Eight where I talked about all the free stuff I got as a kid. <laughs> And you'll you'll be taught a lesson about then, what John Locke's really like. Yeah, and you'll see the true John Locke. Yeah, yeah, it's coming. I mean, we laugh now, but if if, if in thirty years' time someone gives him that check, I I will I will say whatever you want me yeah. to say. Oh, for I, sure. I, I oh, will. For sure. I will not care. That is yeah. not in question. I don't think. I think that's the right thing to do. <laughs> I think that's why we saw the death yeah. behind the eyes of the Shang Chi actors. Yeah. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, that's my hate. Wonderful. No, no, I, I, agree. I I agree with it in principle until the check shows up. Mm. Should we do a few listener hates? Oh, oh fuck's sake! I guess. Uh, well, you <laughs> yeah, might. Yeah, go on. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, it's great. I love the listeners. I love them. Now, I I must admit, I I I, uh, I think they're great. I confess, I can't remember <laughs> if we brought this up in a in a previous episode, but I, I think we should bring it up now that you're here. Well, cool. I didn't listen to the previous episode. No, you never well, do. I should clarify. I never listened to it. No, of no, of course not. I wouldn't expect you to. No, your busy schedule. Uh, no. But Andrew, Andrew writes, friend of the show, my hate is Chris Frey. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Not that's turning up the podcasts. That's oh, is that really funny? Oh, is that really Is that yeah, really yeah, down yeah, black and white? Yeah, that's fair. That's fair, yeah. actually. Uh, what's, he, what's he go on to say, though? Not Nothing else, actually. That's literally... Yeah, no, that's fair. Um, no, that's... Yeah, I've Anything nothing you'd like to say to these Not really, no. I mean, I I could have done something, probably. Didn't want to. You could have done like a token recording, I guess. Could have. I did once though, and then and then John like ham fisted it into the episode. Do yeah, I did one, like a while ago. Well, he's oh, still baby, learning yeah, to edit. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I could have made it work, but I did have other stuff going on. I'm very sorry. You're the very thing busy. Is, You're very the busy. quality yeah. suffered. The thing is, I don't care. No, well, I don't really. <laughs> um, Clearly, I mean, we've yeah. all we've all come to realise that over time. Well, it's, no, it's good that Andrew uh, likes you. I appreciate that. Yeah, you should. Take, I genuinely appreciate. Take that, that as, as Thank whatever you, you want to take I, it. As. I, anyone who's a fan of mine is great. Sure. If you don't like me, big fan. Then you're as bad as Podbean. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, thank you, thank you, Andrew. That's very nice of you. If you meant it complimentarily. Yeah, I think he probably meant it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It could have been quite. Yeah, I reckon I, he probably yeah. was being. He might have been sarcastic. But... He probably was actually. You can't tell on the internet. There's not a lot of sarcasm on this show. No, no, no. Very. What you see is what no, you get. We're, we're quite, we're quite genuine, really. I would say so, yeah. Yes. Anyway, uh, Imogen writes. Oh, oh, friend of the show. Uh, I hate. Just as well, they are friends of the show. Otherwise, they would have stopped listening. By it's now. a relief. I hate the memory of how terrible drinking makes me feel the day after. Mm. Isn't enough to stop me going out the next time. Ah, uh, we've got a going outer. Yeah, I remember well, going out. Yeah, I, I remember, remember going, going out. I remember, I remember going out. I was talking yeah. to someone about that. Uh, recently, actually, back when um, my knees worked, like I don't really <laughs> go out anymore. I go out for like a meal or go out yeah. for for the X experience, but but I don't go out for just a drink and a dance anymore. No, no, no. 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 I think I I've can't have the energy for that. Can't actually no. think of anything worse, really. No, I think... tomorrow is my first big football day Woo! since the pandemic. Chug a lug, and so maybe... that that'll be an interesting pies. Maybe. Good. <laughs> Do you think I recognise you? <laughs> no, oh, it's my boy. He's oh, it's bright. my guy. Oh, I'm so old and haggard now. Nobody wants to no, that's no, true. shove no a pie in my hand anymore. No one wants you. You'll be like um, once upon a time. It's like a, it's for like a Giacomo seniors range or something like that. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> that's really, really insulting. No, well, that, that. <laughs> the thing is, I'm just short and pudgy. I'm not tall and big. No, there's a difference. Like normal clothes still fit me, but only if I uh, adjust them. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you did do a whole episode about how yeah, normal exactly. clothes don't yeah. fit yeah. you. So. Yeah. Yeah. so less Giacomo, more Giacano. Giacano. <laughs> um, so, I, yeah. Um, no, I I can't relate to that as much as I used to, is the point But I, I can to. relate to the fact that, for some reason, feeling shit after drinking, that memory doesn't last very long. No. And, no. and we'll just go down the hole again. 
and I don't know what. It's I almost don't... like it's a powerful drug. Who'd have thought? Yeah, yeah, and uh, it does silence the voices. <laughs> I know it's, it's it really kind does. of it's wonderful, really, isn't it? Like drinking, uh, it's really great, and all kids should try it. Um, but because clearly my liver, oh, because, because clearly my liver is just um, uh, it's great audio. Let's leave it in. Um, I, I like I I I like uh, Asahi. As sure. A, as a beer, very, very it's a very nice, very very dry, very, it's very dry beer. beer, and I enjoy that beer. It's a good beer. And one of the uh, kind of brief little lights of joy in my life is is having an asahi of an evening. Mm. I quite enjoy it. Mm. And then I noticed that I was feeling quite crunchy the evening after an asahi, like right. like I'd ha- the like desiccated. I'd have one, I'd have one asahi, mm. and I think, gosh, that's a bit steep. I better leave it there. Mm. And then some evenings, if I'm feeling a bit wild, maybe I'll have two asahis. Your whistle needs wetting. I know. I'm just like, gosh, he's such a rebel. Yeah. I don't sleep very well, even if I have. I've had a couple of beers during this. Indeed, yes. I won't sleep as well as I would have if I had no beers. No, and there are True. occasions when you will have upwards of eight, ten. But that doesn't happen 13. all that much, the, or hasn't. Not after the incident. Recently, well, not after the stag do. That no, was the last time I was drunk actually. Well, like, well, good, yeah, and we're yeah. all grateful for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let me. But I've not been out. I'm not. Yeah, as I say, tomorrow is my first proper day. Indeed, at football. So that'll be interesting. And it's not that big. It's like a it's relatively low turnout. I'm not in London for too long. It's just an easing back in. But yeah, yeah it's, it's my good, first yeah. day out tomorrow, which mm-hmm. is fun. But interesting at the same time to see how I react or do not react to the level of alcoholism I put my body through. Well, indeed. football. No, indeed. And I, 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 I'm sure you will be... I'll be fine. Great. Restrained. No. Relatively speaking, I think I will, yeah, because I've got yeah. stuff to do on Sunday. Good. That's the thing now, I've got stuff to do. I know, we're all very busy in the I'm morning. An imp- I'm an important cog in the life machine. Sure. This is good. Sounds great. I think my thing is, nowadays, because mm. I am an old man, yes. I enjoy being mildly tipsy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I do not enjoy being drunk, and I absolutely yeah. hate being hungover. Yes. And I have to walk a very fine line <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> to keep these There's things... a lot of control involved. Yeah. yeah. But then, then that happens to everyone, I think. Most, I, well, hopefully most people. Well, here's a quick yeah. PSA then for Imogen. You're going to feel shit. Yeah. So if, the, if you're listening to this podcast and it's a good few days but since But Imogen's last far younger than we are as well. Yeah, well... She's got time on her side. She's younger. Yeah. Younger. Yeah. You just say, enjoy these moments, is yeah. what we're saying. But you will feel like shit. They're gone before you know. You're going to feel like garbage. It will, it will happen again. You're going to feel like shit. Before the end. Yeah. It's happening. Um, it's it's on the horizon. But it's coming for you. It when you get up, up when you. you get older, you'll you'll have two glasses of red, and you'll think mm, that's enough. That is enough. The days in which we would share a house, and you and your five side team would go and win a game, and you would polish off a bottle of red on your own in the corner of a room. Well, that's that's far and away. I just... can't now imagine going and playing a full five side match as we used to, and then going to the pub. Which we is used what you to do. do that no, no. if we won. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't manage that now. Nah, I'd be be tired. Be far too tired. Yeah, right? and and you got stuff to do in the morning. Yeah, I know because you're a big cog in a big machine. Or I'm whatever. a bit. I'm an integral cog in the life sure. machine. What I find amazing is nobody sets out to be old, and then you realise it just happened. It'll dawn on us. Like, like yeah, all of it. yeah, it's yeah. just kind of creeping up on you gradually. I'll be yeah. young forever. Go on. Well, indeed. Uh, so uh, Louis, a mm. uh, friend of the show. I know Louis. Uh, writes in and says, and this may this may need a bit of um, passing for a moment. Okay. But he goes, I hate. POV titles. POV titles. Points of view. Yeah. I am one. Who, <laughs> I am one. Uh, so it's the royal one. Uh, I am one who likes to listen to music in the background while I work, either hobby or editing. Okay. He's got hobbies. Oh, a bully for him. I used to have hobbies. I don't know what they are. Uh, nothing in tanks. Most of the time, a bit of classical piano or broody horror music. Oh, nothing. Those, those, those two. Are, piano. Those two are quite. No, different. he listens to them in the background. Oh. Nothing intense, but broody horror music sounds pretty intense. Yeah, Louis. nothing intense, but uh, a series of kind of harsh skatak, uh, sk- <laughs> skatak- <laughs> yeah, no, that sort of thing. Yeah, it keeps me calm. Nothing you know? intense though. Yeah. Recently, uh, YouTube has been uh, suggesting some great playlists. Oh. The problem is they get a, they they are producing TikToky POVE. I must admit, I'm so old. I don't understand some of these terms. Yeah, this is a, yeah. So basically, what he's saying I'll is... I'll feel this one, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So he's saying that YouTube is presenting titles of playlists he's listening to while he's listening to the music. So I think what he's saying is he'll hear stuff or see stuff like, you're following the mysterious student who is sneaking out of dormitories, dancing with your lover in the, hall, in the halls of an abandoned castle, 
Okay. You're a ballerina dancing with a ghost in in an abandoned theater. What the fuck? Actually, I'm getting I'm I'm coming further Maybe away from the point. Maybe you should have read this before before we did the show. <laughs> So I think what he's saying is these are what is POV? What are we what are we missing? Well, in this POVs in, in in the world of TikToks, ah. POVs oh, are, are a kind of TikTok where you are you are it's almost like you're role playing. You are the other person, Ugh. right? So for, so someone oh, I... looks into the camera and records a video as if they're talking to you. Oh, and sorry, so this I is just... the POV of let's say it's let's say I made a video, right, and I recorded me crying. Oh. And then I would write as the caption, POV, you've broken up with me. Right? And then it's me going, <laughs> why? <laughs> that would be... You know that kind of bit in Indiana Jesus. Jones where they open the Ark of Covenant? Yeah. And the faces all melt. Yeah. It's relevant. Carry on. Mm. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's POV content. Oh, I see. So, okay, I understand now. It sounds... So, I don't know. No, I think I do. Because what Louis is saying is he's found playlists of music which he likes having on in the background right but what's creeping him the hell out is that they're not just called playlist of classical music or playlist uh... of uh cool background horror music it's playlist of pov you're being chased every, every, by a ghost every playlist has a name which su suggests a scenario that you are a point of view of yeah him. so and and so in that new context it's like Here's music to listen to while you're playing chess with your best friend's ghost by candlelight. I mean, I, I can't relate. I don't know how to begin to picture that scenario. I've never done that before. I don't know if you but guys what? have, but I haven't played chess with a ghost before. Not as far as I know. No. The thing is... Right. Here we go. Are you filming a TikTok while you listen to that playlist? Otherwise, why is it called POV? I've... This, it feels like the um, the evil younger sibling of shifting. Yeah. Which is chained sure. in the attic. I sure, don't sure, understand. Sure, yeah. I don't understand, unless it's for inspiration to film a TikTok, why it's called a POV. I think the idea is they're creating an audio soundscape that puts you in the mind of this. I so, feel... for example, this this sound yeah. is a bit like you're playing chess with a ghost. Yeah, I, I, I accept that as a premise. Sure. Sure. But I don't understand why POV is relevant. Sure, no, I agree completely with that. What I find endlessly fascinating is that, like, I would get beaten up for bringing a Game Boy to school, and yet people can that. make TikTok <laughs> careers. I keep you close because it's the only way to be less scared of you. Yeah. <laughs> you know? I've uh, got it. People make TikTok careers from doing this bullshit. People make TikTok careers by fantasizing about... I don't, I don't know, jamming out with Legolas or something like that. Mm. Like, and they're they have Legolas. they have thirty thousand you know kind of followers, whereas I have bruises and emotional scarring. Yeah, I just you know. I just don't understand. No, I, any of it. I just don't understand. <laughs> so I think what Louis is saying is, um, let's I'm just a, agree with Louis. Louis is saying is, I'm a thirty year old. Oh, Jesus, he's young. All right, <laughs> uh, I'm a thirty year old. Weird flex. Yeah, I'm a thirty year old bearded man, and these titles are creepy. I think they do something weird to me where I feel like they are placing me in a situation without my permission before I finish reading. That's fair. My level of disgust mm. increases as I get closer to the end of the title as I realise that the final finished situation is that this is just something this dumb algorithm has placed me in. So for your pleasure, I wrote one for you guys. Oh. You're happily enjoying the Sonic sequel and laughing at all the flossing jokes while eating wet popcorn as you realise you are the ghost of Dr. Robotnik. Oh, oh! You no, know, I can, I can put myself in that. Yeah, yeah. I can he write. had me until wet popcorn, I think. Then, mm. and then I thought, I've never. I, how would that work? How would wet popcorn happen? I, what I, I, I what I find terrifying is that's probably something we've referenced on the show. Well, no, wet popcorn is what you get at forty X because there's a little spray. Oh, but how do you know? We only just brought up. Do you 40X. think Sonic will come out? Sonic Two will come out in forty X. If so, should we go watch it in forty X? I practically insist here's the thing i've seen i've been in 40x but i think we should all go yeah because we've been talking shit we've been talking shit about it but yeah. i think we need to experience it and why don't we record a live podcast in the cinema because the situation has already been ruined just leave yeah. a dick to you know, on the floor we won't even get kicked out because talking. there'll be no one else yeah. in there <laughs> and and all the rats running past our feet will be long claws sure loads you of know. long claws load loads of long yeah, claws. they'll just release owls into the cinema fan favorite long claw yeah i love that kestrel Whatever, whatever it was. Whatever it, what was it? A hawk? It's it's literally a one word argument for destroying anyone who likes that film. Yeah. Long claw. Long claw. Fucking I, I suck it. I would go with Sonic 
starting a like a bar fight, being on his hit list. Oh, that's not. That's come on. Let's not get back in. Come on, this. come on, move on, John, quickly. Uh, Simon, friend of the show. Oh, Simon, friend writes, of the show. Uh, and I love this one because it's pure. Have we got on. any non-friends of the show writing in? Hey, everyone's a friend of the show. Well, except for Podbean. No, they, except for Podbean, yeah. <laughs> but these, he hates these, the show. <laughs> all these people are, is what I'm saying. Friends of the show. Yeah, I think we do just say it like a reflex. Well, they've okay. been, prom- they've been promoted. Shouldn't we encourage participation from people who wouldn't normally engage with the show? Well, yeah, are I, you saying that there should be like a ranking system where people can level up to become? No, not a ranking. System, system i would just um feel better about our output if it wasn't just our mates oh <laughs> right no, i don't think there's no. any doubt that it's just our mates <laughs> no no you, well if you've been here you would have seen that we we've 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 had hates from people who okay we, we don't know. we All don't right, no. we don't have on speed bars. i personally don't that know exactly which simon better. this is we know a few simons and i'm not going to clarify because no, that, right. no, that keeps for Miss okay. Cup, yeah. It? yeah okay yeah don't don't use their surnames so hit, si- us, hit us with simon simon friend of the show writes uh, i oh, hate i know which simon it is then i hate <laughs> i hate the wiggles the wiggles what's that well well they're a kids no that they're band yeah they're a kids band sure kids band you know a kids band i don't have kids why would i know that exactly. well I get... He's just yeah, I know this. I know exactly who Simon this is, and he has kids. We're just oh, bringing it up, isn't don't he? Ruin it. Ruin no, no, I'm not disputing the hate. I'm saying, how would I know that? Okay. Well, let me finish. Why do you know that? Well, because I, 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 because I, I live in a world and I consume things and I learn things. I don't. <laughs> I don't live in a world. <laughs> Jeez, Louise. I hate the Wiggles. This is one for parents of small children. Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. I wish we got to that before me and John had an ugly spat. <laughs> I have to watch show <laughs> after show of four middle-aged Australians sing and dance all day. Oh. The Wiggles are an Australian band. Why does he have to watch it? Are they in costume? He, well, they wear different coloured jumpers. Oh, that's nice. They're four they're wholesome... Like, um, I they're they're like hot, Norris, Doris and Boris from Through the Dragons. They're really like the Power Rangers. Uh, really? No. Oh. Okay. I'm being facetious. Norris, Doris, Doris and Boris. I just really like the yeah. Power Rangers. Yeah. Different colour jumpers. Yeah. Okay. And they battled a, 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 a hell huge, demon who melted people. Yeah. Huge demon. A bizarre show. It's a weird show. Okay, so 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 for context, let's just frame this. The Wiggles okay. are an Australian children's band. Right. They sing wholesome songs about I don't know, fruit. Scraping celery. scraping your knee. Yes. Like kids do. Yes. Owies. Yeah, owies. A mm. jam. Yeah. Okay. Um I know I, I understand. And the they all wear different coloured jumpers. Great. So as as a parent of a small child, mm. Simon has to I'm watch show after show to entertain yeah. the child yeah, oh yeah, of these yeah, Australians. No. Yeah. Um, I need to clarify that this is not the worst children's show out there. Oh. If you really want to witness surreal, watch In the Night Garden. I, I've heard I about know this. about that. Yeah, I've heard mm. about it. Because I the have garden. nieces and that's been around a long time. Yeah, it's weird. My hate is that these songs are so fucking repetitive <laughs> that I find myself in the kitchen blasting out a rendition of Hot Potato, which one has to assume is a song. Isn't Probably. that a Matt uh, Lucas song? That's Baked, baked potato. potato. Thank you, Baked Potato. <laughs> I find myself in the kitchen blasting out a rendition of Hot Potato, Do the Propeller, whoa, Ooh, bit, Jesus. Bit, of Willycopter, bit of Willycopter, or Do the Skeleton Scat, even when I'm by uh. myself. No one told me about this when I signed up to be a parent. That's the problem because he kids... signed up. Yeah, what? signed a petition. Right. Um, I... Kids love repetition, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> no one told me about this. Is a funny thing. To say. <laughs> <laughs> Did you expect someone to warn you? Um... But, like I don't know, <laughs> I don't the know, doctor, or the, yeah. the, the midwife, or something. Wow. I should yeah. tell you, your wife's pregnant, and that means you're going to watch a lot of the Wiggles. <laughs> yeah, Here's your wife's inform- pregnant. Congratulations. <laughs> Here's an informative pamphlet <laughs> now, about the Wiggles. Now, you're going to have to listen to this album now. Yeah, so sorry. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Why are children drawn to garbage. essentially garbage? Yeah. yeah. It's almost like they're not fully formed. My, uh, and they love repetition. My yes. nephew, Luca. Ah. I've named him on the show now, so he is immortalised in fame and fortune. Mm. Um, he loves a YouTube show called Little Baby Bum. Nice. Which is a weird name. Don't like this already. No, and it's Don't, all CGI. No. Uh, and it's very bad, and it's very haunting, and it's very scary CGI, and it's all songs, and it's very repetitive, and a lot of them are things like Wheels on the Bus, 
or you know um old mcdonald had a farm that mm. sort of thing but there'll be just a creature that's like a living fridge oh uh, with a horrifying human face like set into it i don't door. like that kind of like some sort of tank engine model but it's mm. a fridge but 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 also like it does there's no sense to anything like I see, yeah. you know like yes wheels on the bus is sung by an I a living ice cream what why though and it's it, it's very bad this it's is what very bad children's shows are just allowed on youtube yeah they're just like yeah we can do whatever we want but apparently it's the like third or fourth most successful youtube channel of all time really? making shit tons of money because parents my brother included mm. will put this playlist on that loops and the child will be just Hypnotize, yeah, hypnotize yeah. Him, yeah. and they'll stop screaming they'll stop fucking out they'll stop drawing on the walls they'll stop yeah. tearing the front oh, I'll have it, the I'll have it on 24 hours a day in that yeah case. and this is and he'll just like i've seen footage where my brother will like like he'll be like the child the mm. child in the question child. will be tearing up the room he'll be screaming he'll be yeah. throwing his cars at the wall. That on. phil will turn it on and he'll just stop in his tracks yeah. it's terrifying right he'll stop and his head will swivel 180 degrees <laughs> just like lock into place and he'll just stare at the screen and he'll just his hands will drop to his sides and yeah. he'll drop the car into the floor and he'll just stare at it. That's slightly disturbing. It is quite disturbing, actually. I have to say, in the quite unlikely situation that I find myself in the care of a child, <laughs> uh, I'm going to raise them in a manner where they think it's 1560. Sure. I will I will do an M Watch Night out for cholera. <laughs> I'll do an M Night Shyamalan on them and I'll raise <laughs> the village, I'll yeah. raise them in a like hut that, in yeah. the woods and I'll sell them that electricity is the devil's work. It's probably uh, fair. Yeah. They'll and... probably grow up more attuned. Yeah. 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 They'll, they'll just... grow up to be alphas. They'll spend oh, all, yeah. they'll spend all their day husking corn. <laughs> and they will never <laughs> be happy for it. And they will never know what an influencer is. And I, I feel they'll be richer for it. But yeah. I'll find where you've hidden that child and I'll sneak a Game Boy <laughs> under the door. Oh, <laughs> I'll do it. <laughs> You get away! <laughs> <laughs> who was who was that, John? Oh, no one, no one, no one, no one. That's the devil who lives in the woods. <laughs> he gave me a grey obelisk. <laughs> Back to your chores. <laughs> he gave me these iridescent cogs, father. <laughs> they glow and shine. <laughs> What's a health point? <laughs> no, no, no! <laughs> all my work. <laughs> um, oh. delightful. Excellent. Anyone else? Oh, uh, yeah, and Andrew Skeeving says... Uh, friend of the show. Friend of the show? Uh, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> not after this. It says, I hate the amount of audible ags I'm getting at the moment. Oh. Just fuck off with you. Which is a perfect segue into today's sponsor. <laughs> 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 Oh, imagine if we had a sponsor. Oh, God. God, no. that one day we'll have a sponsor. One day. It would be yeah, great. Maybe that pie company's desperate. Good, yeah. I need to just look up the name of it. But yes. You need to find out who they were. Yeah. It's on Twitter somewhere. I'll find it. Sure. I'll post it on the well, It's not even one of the leading pie brands. <laughs> Very unlikely, I would say. <laughs> Pucker Pies? No, no. It, it could have been Pucker Pies. Punker Pies. Funk Funk <laughs> Pies. Dunk Pies. <laughs> Ducker Pies. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll look it up. I'll put it on the group. Have you got a love, Chris? Yeah, what's your love? Yeah, I sure have. Um, so you remember last time I was talking about <laughs> Harry Potter World I, I and how I was going to boycott Butterbeer and all that. Here we go. <gasps> yeah. My love is Harry Potter at Warner Brothers Studios. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking sensational. Is it? It's sensational. <laughs> I mean, I have been, but I don't remember it. Very oh, much, it was but... so good. I didn't have Butterbeer. I put it on the group. I did, did. I did not have Butterbeer. Did you try it at all? No. Did you have a sip? Or I didn't go near or... it. Did Liz? No. Okay. She's been before and had it. Uh, we weren't interested. We we there was a cafeteria in the middle of the tour. Sure, sort of bang in the middle because they, they know what they're doing. That's right. And we just skipped right past it. It was on Privet Drive, the cafeteria. I remember. So yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, but it, the whole thing was great. Oh, it's so good. Wait, sorry, Privet Drive is where the cafeteria is. It's like in the street. So is yeah. it like that's you where get Harry to... Potter's? Um... That's where. Lives. Uh, his uncle. Yeah, that's my point. What's, uncle? what's for theming? Sure. Where it's like. Yeah, I think it's his uncle. Get, get, so get, you, there's a cafe. So you go in. There's have a have a racist burger or something yeah. like a magical racism. Burger Basically, the or... two mm. the tour is two warehouses essentially, and then uh, you, when walking between the two warehouses, there's a cafeteria, and then Privet Drive is the outside bit. Uh, it looks you, like the set, basically. It looks like the set. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's not the actual set though. Uh, I don't know whether I they think moved some the element, set to some elements. I it. think some elements of it are the real set. I don't think that is. I think some elements are. Can you go in the house? Yeah, yeah. You can I go downstairs could. in the house. Yeah. Um, and there's letters flying around. That's right. And do you get to kind of curl up in a fetal position you under could. the stairs? Oh, I'm sure you could. Yeah. A lot of people would probably pose like that. It's yeah. the Harry Potter if experience. Yeah. Can yeah. be can be abused. Feel for like an years. abused child for a bit. <laughs> can be abused and for some reason not be allowed to move away, <laughs> even though you're in the care of wizards. Anyway, 
I don't particularly love Harry Potter, as I may have explained last time you I was might on the show. Been, I yeah. may have explained that. I think we're all agreed on that. But there's tour and all the behind the scenes and all the practical effects and everything, and what they show you there is amazing. Mm. I so, remember so good. really liking the side of it where it was all like the behind the scenes, like seeing the animatronics, and yeah. seeing the props. That side really interested me. Yeah, that was great. And I quite like the big Hogwarts miniature. That was, I'll be honest with you. I'll go on. In my cold, dead heart. Yeah, it is. I shed a tear. Really? When we saw the Hogwarts model. It's massive, but it's a miniature, which is weird, Yeah, it's, it's hmm. it was, it's the very last thing you see it is. in the tour, and it was amazing. And it's just a big model of Hogwarts. Huge, though. Like, and it is, is the model that they use. It's the, the model they use in the movies. For the, oh. For the panning shots and everything. So they show how they used it in the movies and what bits they filmed, and the angles they did, and all this, that, and the other. Oh. And you can walk all around it. Like three, three, six. And they but used it, this it, like... it was coming up, so I just walked in. I was like, "Fuck!" Is it like knee high to a grasshopper, or is it no, kind of like? No, uh... it was big. It's big. How to describe how big it is? Uh, I would it's... say it's about ten to fifteen feet tall, roughly. Yeah, it's about the floor plan of a small house. So you get to yeah. feel like a giant. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. for sure, yeah. for sure, for sure, for sure. But you will sort of walk around. You they it's like on a you're on walkways. On, on, yeah, walkways and ramps going down, so you can do the whole panoramic thing. You can't touch it. No. Oh, it's a shame. Very careful of that. Are there any rides? No. no. Nothing like that. You just walk around. You it's see all, all looking props. at shit. Okay. Uh, the closest you get to a ride is you can go on a broom and they have a green screen. That's right. And then someone directs you. There's a broom on, like, on a string. And I did warn... I said to the person, genuinely, I said to the person doing the direction, I said, I don't take direction well. <laughs> As I got on the broom. So she, they were telling people what to do. Like, oh, take your hands off and wait for everyone. I was just yeah, going, fuck that, I said, that's very irresponsible. <laughs> take your hands off a broom. Would they let you kind of like hang from a broom? Like, Because I'm assuming they take a photo of you. No, well, they do a, they do a, a video. whole video. Yeah. Oh. And you're, like, you're allowed to buy that video, which I did not. Are Weird. you? Yeah. Yeah, because that's Do creepy. you wear a robe? No. There were a lot of people there in costume, though. Really? Which I didn't care for. Did they offer no. you a wizard's hat and did you refuse? No, I'll be honest, John. The shop <laughs> is right after the Hogwarts model, which, mm. as I say, made me quite emotional. Mm, and as I said to Liz at the time, it's the craftsmanship. <laughs> <laughs> um, which was great. And as I say, I don't like Potter, but it was great. It was mm. so good. And then you walk into the shop and mm. you're like, this is a nice shop. Perhaps I'll wet my whistle. Mm. And I bought a wand. Did you? I did. What one did I'm, you buy? I'm not Palpatine's. proud. I'm not, yeah. I bought Emperor Palpatine's wand. Right. No, I bought um, uh, Lupin's wand. Okay. Because I thought it looked cool. How would you know? Because it's labelled. No, but I mean, literally, how would anybody know I what, bet a, what, in the what a wand is? Yeah, but they're sticks. All of them look different. Are they, though? Are well, they, John? Well, yeah. Are they sticks? Yeah. I... I respectfully disagree. Because I, I, well, you know, maybe... <laughs> all right, I disrespectfully disagree. <laughs> Here we go. It's another I'll, ugly I'll, spat. I'll go back to my DVD and I'll pause it and I'll look at no. that stick on the screen. And, and I'll tell I'll go... you, and I'll tell you how I know it's legit. It's because I got home and I watched the movie that he's in, and the wand is correct. Oh. I see. But no, you look at them. They are. They're actually not complete ripoffs. They are, but I'd seen that model and I was. I captivated. Everyone has a completely unique Everyone's wand. wand. Very unique, actually. You, like like so the you can penis. Go around, you go around and see all the designs and they've got, like, the shop, which is called... Ollivanders. Ollivanders. I wish I didn't know that. I'm so sorry, Where everyone. all the wands are. I feel I'm a... becoming an alpha from this conversation. <laughs> now. What's going on? Um, God, and they've displayed, they display them like they're in the shop, in the movie. Oh, yeah, like I lots see. Lots of little boxes. Um, but you see like a display of all the wands and it's all in a big circle and you can like pick them up and look at them and everything and then you can buy one you like in theory and I had at the start of the tour said to Liz oh that one looks quite cool and it was Lupin's right. so I just went oh I'll just buy it Fuck is that it. the one that's got little runes down it it's got and they and the cool thing was <laughs> fuck me why are we having this conversation the cool like... thing was when you went to the checkout to buy your wand oh, the yeah. assistant at the checkout was able to explain what the wand represented and the little elements of it good lord that made it that person's wand so Lupin's wand right because he's a werewolf we're going into it it had a little it's got a little moon like a sphere on the top which represents the moon oh, right. the top of it is dark and the bottom half of it is light which represents his werewolfishness uh, that's werewolfery yeah so they were able to explain what it represented which was interesting so we bought it I don't regret it did Liz buy one no I said to her do you want to buy one I, I made it clear to her that we could both buy one that this was an option this was an option well, available to given us. that it came out of a mortgage pot 
You yeah, know, they, yeah, they, yeah. they really couldn't afford to get two Wongs, you know. <laughs> I mean, that's not that far from the truth. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's kind, of, it's, kind of, it's kind of an investment. And I even said close really. to the boat, that I, one. <laughs> I said to the checkout um, girl, I said, it's our honeymoon. She went, that'll be £30. Fuck's sake. You could have got a free honey wand or something. Honey wand, that would have been yeah, good. I don't know. But no, I Did would... Did they offer you some free butter beer and you're like, eh, I wouldn't have had it anyway, on principle. Free... If no, I'd have been, no, if I'd no, have been pictured no, with a butter beer, no. my life wouldn't have been worth living. If they, it, like, okay, after your honeymoon, if they had cut, it, it, mm. after the disaster that is your honeymoon, I'm going to say it. That's, um, that's, that's bold. It's mean, if, yeah. if you will. No, it was, but if it, they, it was, yeah, sure. It, it was fine. It was lovely, I'm sure. But if they had said, oh, it's your anniversary, here's a free butter beer each, would you have taken it? <laughs> Come on. I mean, we all know the answer to that. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. That's all I needed. Yes, That's I all I needed. If what if an a, a, uh, underpaid day actor dressed as Hagrid <laughs> came over to you? Fortunately, there was none of that. With two overflowing cups of butter beer. Oh. oh, I hear it's your magical wedding. Have a butter beer, Harry. You've, you've nailed it. <laughs> Harry, your and, wizard's and, wedding. You're whizzing. I mean, yeah, probably I probably would, would have probably taken would. it, but only if it, if he offered me a discounted price, I'd have said no. You're right, like fifty percent off. I don't know, but free, free is fine. Free is yeah. okay. I'll yeah. take almost anything. If it's it's free. just ties with with squirty cream on top. Yeah. That's <laughs> literally all it is. But fortunately, there was none of that with actors dressed up. Oh, as thank characters. God. Thank, thank for, It was very God. much just a here. Are, here are the props. Look at them. Enjoy them. Here's some documentaries on the screen. Enjoy them. Take your time. Yeah, take your time. We were there for four hours, so um, really? wow. Here's the here's the model. Here's all the uh, the effects and all the practical effects and everything. Enjoy. Mm. Do your own thing, which was great. I like that kind of thing. The only thing you've said <laughs> out of all those features mm. kind of makes me feel. I wish I could do that. Sure. Is the broom thing really because no, that was no the, i would argue that was the worst no, bit hear me out because you're meant to sit on that broom and they're going to direct you and they film you and you're meant to get this perfect little dvd of you <laughs> being in hogwarts and i'm like can i do anything on the broom <laughs> yeah. i i, I want to film that experience but i'm hanging upside down from a broom yeah. screaming yeah <laughs> like, crying i think you i think you're probably good to see that. that but they direct they yeah they tell you to do certain things they tell everyone to do the same thing and i did ignore her at times sure because I just thought, well, a, a wizard. <laughs> and then you complain. I just thought, a, I just thought a wizard wouldn't do that. You no. would never take your hands off the broom. No, They're very not. irresponsible. No, are you thinking of Jedi? On a broom, a, a Jedi would never take their hands off a broom. Well, a Jedi could, could because no. of the Force. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah a wizard can't. Come yeah. on, John. No, I just lazy. I, I would love to be on that broom with a can of Foskers, yeah. weeping. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> weeping. <laughs> <laughs> are you proud of me now? <laughs> <laughs> I want them. I want some poor technician to have to superimpose the background in and press me a DVD. <laughs> I want it. I want that, please. Yeah. So yeah, I would even if you don't like Potter, which I don't really, go. It's fun. It's magical. I'd, re yeah. I'd recommend it thoroughly. It's a the magical, magical few hours. The magical world the of magical... Harry Potter. And if there's a Star Wars one, it'll blow it out of the water. But yeah. Still, there it is. There it is. I've got love. Tell us about it. Um, I love old people and touchscreens. Uh oh, they're bad at they're bad at them. Yeah, they're really bad at them. Um, <laughs> I was in McDonald's recently. Uh oh, uh, a place I like to consume. Sure, the food that they sell in the place. The food? Well, sure. Uh, yeah, okay. the, the matter, the grizzly matter. Yeah, those pucks that they sell. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and they have, as you may be aware, may not be aware, because you may be better than me. Sure, whatever. Yeah, rub it in my face. Whatever. Yeah. Um, they have a touchscreen. Yes, thing, so no, you I am aware of this. You don't have yes. to go to the till. No, indeed. Yeah, you can instead just be like, oh, what a burger! Do do do. Um, big, big, like a big iPad, you know, on a sort okay. of stand. Um, and everyone can use these fine. They're very easy to use. Uh, you just touch. It's That's the beauty of touch. Just, just touch a button. Just touch a button. What do you it's want? Fine. You want that? Touch it. And then yeah. it gets added. You press OK at the end. And then you press OK again. And then you put your card on. It's really, it's yeah. really easy. It's future. But there's something about old people and touch screens. And it's not just McDonald's, but this was the most recent experience I had with it. Um, where I don't know whether they don't have a soul. And maybe oh. that's that's how the touchscreen works. Uh -oh. it that's quite a strong statement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it, what else have I got to go on? I certainly have, wouldn't never say something like that publicly. Don't have blood. Uh, don't have a bioelectric field. I don't know what it is. They don't have it though. So you're saying it's not that they are old and confused. It's because their 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 wizened old bodies can't. I'm not actually... judging. This is not no judgment at all. No judgment. It sounds a little bit like a judgment. No, 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 no. Really judgment free. Like I, oh. lo I love old people. I've some some of them. Not, not in a weird, oh, yeah, yeah, a normal amount. But like they are but, bashing but only... this screen, like 
bam, 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 in their little hard bony fingers. Bam, 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 bam. And the buttons aren't working. And, and I can just, <laughs> I can gently t- tap OK and it works. Are you suggesting there's no like blood in their fingers? Well, I don't know how these touch screens work. To be honest, I don't understand touch screens, but no. whether it's checking heat. for heat. I think it's heat. Is it, it checking for bioelectric don't field? Don't look at me. I, I, I'm not a physicist. Uh, Is it checking for your soul? I don't know yeah. what it's looking for. I, I do know that. Sentience? So there might be some magical properties behind it. I, I, I do know. I that. always thought it was heat. But whatever yeah. it is, they don't have it. They clearly yeah. don't have it because they are touching these screens and, it's, and they're not working. <laughs> well, uh, it's Lu- hilarious. <laughs> Lucy, uh, the love of my life and and you know my partner in crime and everything. Doesn't uh, have a soul. <laughs> she's she's wonderful and everything. She's also very cold, like all the time. <laughs> okay. Like, does she at, struggle with touch? Screen? I think she does. Yes. There yeah, are times so when heat. there are times when she touches a screen and then has to like kind of rub her hands. And it frosts and, <laughs> and shatters. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. I, so it's heat. It might be a heat thing. Okay, yeah. so we worked that out, and now yeah. all old people are freezing cold. Obviously, indeed, because yes. they have very little yeah. blood. It's have a heat death of the universe, really. It's yeah, just they're like everything. living entropy. Yeah, like, it's like, yeah, it's all just kind of slowing down. And so, so this man got more and more frustrated, obviously, because <laughs> he just wanted some nugs. And he fought in the Boer War. Yeah, yeah, he fought for this. He fought. Yeah, exactly. He fought for touch screens. And he was banging and banging on the screen like his fingertip. Like I bet the bone would have pierced through his flesh. <laughs> oh, that's great. Like, okay. like really going for it. It's like bloody machine. I like, liberated yeah. the Crimea. And I'm just, this. I'm just watching. Like, I'm just sat there, like front row seat. This is fucking great. And then he walks to the till and finds a human, which is hard to find in, yeah. in McDonald's. Yeah, <laughs> me included. Um, and uh, he's like, "Oh, your, I can't use your bloody machine. It's always bloody machine." Yeah. I think is always that, an that, interesting. Yeah. Bloody that machine. That bloody machine won't work. And so, and so, uh, this um, very gracious woman mm. is like, "Okay, no, I'll, I'll help you, sir." Very kind. She walks back with him, and she just touches, and it immediately works. Yeah, like she touches the button he couldn't touch, and it immediately works. There is nothing wrong with the device. It is his complete lack of a soul that I, I I don't want to stress that too hard, but I really do feel like yeah. it's a lack of soul. Um, and I don't want to blast your wife by 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 context, but but it is a lack of a soul, I think. I uh, yeah, I, I mean, probably. I don't yeah, want to no. lean too heavily on it. But... I mean, like her, her people did uh, kind of <laughs> r- rocket her away from a dying planet, this you know, I, yeah. and she's landed on this horrible planet. This... So then, of course, this this lovely woman just taps the buttons and it's all like, oh, it's just smooth, yeah. it's perfect. It, have you considered that it's not that the old person doesn't have say a soul. what it takes yeah is it more that you and others who frequent this restaurant mm. are kind of um greased greased is what i'm yeah. saying yeah are kind of just covered in a naturally conductive, conductive sort of yeah <laughs> maybe it is that john maybe it yeah. is and when that when that gracious lady came over she just wiped her finger down yeah. the surface and touched the screen and it instantly that was worked. it it needs grease mm. to function um, but this a grease a grease an old person should have, I feel. Were you He wanted that burger. He wanted the grease. He wanted the grease. Yeah. He wanted it. Do you does anybody remember when the Millennium Dome was a thing? Yes. Yeah, I went, I went to, to it. I went to the dome. Yeah. Yeah. I never went to the dome. Yeah. Oh. But do you remember adverts at the time? For the Millennium Dome, I don't know. If no, and really. Mackie D's, <gasps> McDonald's had some adverts that oh. were Millennium Dome. Did they have a Mackie's in the dome? I, well, one, I can only, one can only assume they did. I bet they did. But there was an advert where it was all about the Millennium Dome is for future and we're all living Ooh. in the future. But it's also McDonald's. And <laughs> there was a bit where like it's uh, an, an elderly man ordering... <laughs> An elderly man ordering uh, a Big Mac. Oh, it's not very believable. From the McDonald's in the Millennium Dome. Right. Before touchscreens, it wasn't the future because touchscreens didn't exist. No. And, and and he says, "Do you have knives and forks?" And then a young cool well, like, kid in the advert. In the advert, it's okay. literally happened. And then a young cool kid, so out of touch, smiles to himself and picks up his Big Mac and walks away. And that was the advert. What was the message? I don't understand. Um, nicer than yours i guess that's stuff like this <laughs> makes me wonder here we go what we won't be able to do or operate when we're old sure what won't we be because um, we could work that our cyber hopefully when we're cyber old. into cyber yeah what what will be the thing that we won't be able to operate i when we're 90 won't be able to watch photos of my cyber grandchildren on my playstation 9 because it requires a biological implant yes. yeah yeah exactly like that. in yeah. my neck i mean you guys have already stepped uh short of tiktok you're, you're you're refusing to i'm engage. i'm already at a point now genuinely and everyone gets everyone says as they get older oh 
I don't know anything about that. But they have a base they anything. have a base level knowledge in, yeah. most, in most cases. Sure. I'm genuinely getting to a point now where I don't know what these things are. Yeah. Okay. Like not on TikTok I know vaguely what it is. It's just it's just fast YouTube. But I'm rapidly <laughs> approaching that point. It's fast YouTube. It basically is. <laughs> I'm rapidly approaching that point where I just I'm out of touch to the degree that I don't know what things are oh, or, sure. who, or who celebrities are. And, and I thought like this wouldn't happen. I, I thought I'll be the I'll be the yeah. one guy or the one generation that'll survive this. Uh, but but it no, just, it's it, happening. It just makes me think that there will be a thing when I'm old that everyone will go like, ha, huh, granddad doesn't know how to work fucking the laser toaster the, or whatever. The, yeah, the laser interface. You know? but, but you do kind of, it's, it's almost not that you don't have the capacity to learn. You just reach a point where you're like, I don't have the energy. Is that it though? Is, sure. that, is that old people now well, are just like, fuck this. Well, we're, we're luckier. He got, got angry pretty yeah. fast at this guy. Yeah. I genuinely do think we're, we're luckier in that we've lived through not having the internet mm. and then we had the internet we're like the last generation that will remember we're the transition generation yes indeed yeah. so we've learned with with everyone else to use smartphones and stuff so we've built on the foundation of certain things yeah but now of course there's tiktok and everything and and, yeah, and, and I, don't, I, I don't know where we're going I'm i don't know where we're heading i'm stepping away from twitter and social media because mm. they're awful they are and i'm like there's this whole new platform tiktok mm. and i'm like do I invest the energy mm. to learn about it? And the question for me, and I've decided, I've decided no. Yeah, I'm I not going to. decided no. I think I've decided no. Because to it's... be honest, I think TikTok is one of the least challenging things yeah. out there. Like it might be quite cutting edge in terms of like youth culture, but it's it's literally videos that follow one on from another. It's really not that hard, guys. Yeah. I really can't stress enough. But the problem is I feel like, <laughs> I I feel like there would be... <laughs> A degree of editing involved. Like I, I take photos of my dog and edit them and put them on Instagram. Sure, and, that, and they're that's great. enough. They're great. That's enough for me. Mm. I TikTok. Honest, though, I feel I did like think would be your too dog, much. I did think your dog did it. I thought your dog did the editing. Oh, I've ruined the illusion. So that's kind of oh, fucked mm. up. Shit, I've ruined that. But no, don't, no, don't. She's gonna lose followers now. No, it's it's fine. It's no, I'll get over that. It's fine. She no, no, it's no, it's fine. She, I don't think she could use a touchscreen. Actually, I think her paws are too cold. She has a soul though. I hope so. <laughs> So when, when I don't know what I'll do. So, <laughs> so when this poor old person had curled into a fetal position on the floor because they were so hungry, I think he died there. Actually, did you do a sick kick flip over them on your oh, skateboard sure. oh, yeah. as you rode out? It's, it's, it's on TikTok now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I had elbow pads on though because I don't want to hurt myself. No, did sure. you look like Kid Vid? Uh, yeah, but like a safety conscious kid vid. Uh, a safety yeah. conscious kid vid. And yeah. you did a sick kick flip, a sick Oliver yes. over this elderly <laughs> hungry man. And I was like, rock on! Yeah. Uh, Fogey. <laughs> yeah. But he was dead. So yeah. it was for nothing. And you, and he you had no level of consciousness <laughs> whatsoever. And you skated out while just cramming a Big Mac into your maw. Yeah. Yeah. But it was like through one of those glass automatic doors. So it was like really painful. There was a lot of blood loss. <laughs> but I carried on going because I didn't want anyone to see me. <laughs> There's a trail behind you on your skateboard. This one right behind Red me. line. <laughs> you try skating away, I mean, you just got really kind of like hot and tired because you're just eating a Big Mac. Yeah. yeah. It's not the best thing to eat and then go straight into like physical action with i would argue um <laughs> hey ronald let's go on an outdoor adventure oh let's not give me a second <laughs> oh. <laughs> let me just clutch my side for a sec that's a good lad <laughs> oh i just feel oh, i just feel really claggy oh oh i don't know whether the breathing's as uh straightforward as it used to, <laughs> as it used to be <laughs> i feel like i kind of need a shit or a lie down i can't oh, tell no. <laughs> yeah it's not it's not both and it's not neither <laughs> have you got Natural toilets because I really want to lie down and shit. <laughs> um, I've got, I've got a love. Yeah, I love um, exploring abandoned buildings. Oh, I know oh, where this is going. You did. I had a little adventure the other oh. day. I, yeah, I heard about it. Well, you've heard all about it. I heard you? all about yeah, it. Yeah, he's got all the Too goss. Much, arguably. Yeah. So, so <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's just say I've worked. I uh, I work part time for an organisation mm. in Cool Town. In Cool Town, USA. Cool Town, cool Town in the suburbs, yeah. which has recently purchased a large abandoned building. <laughs> in uh, try and narrow it down. You'll never guess. No. Uh, in 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 a city nearby. <laughs> wow. And. <laughs> Good. A city which we're nailing uh, this. There's so much flavour. We're, na this, we're nailing this. A city which Chris Ray and I mm. uh, grew up near, in. which has a lot of colourful 
culture. Yeah. And sure. and it rhymes. It rhymes with an Australian beer. Beltenham. No. Uh, it's yeah. It's it's Basel, Maine. Yeah. Fine. Basel, Maine, UK. That's a very clever joke. It's all right, isn't it? It's pretty good. It's good if you that, know what the city we're talking that about. That took some effort, so bravo. Brain-wise, yes. Indeed. <laughs> so um, so this organisation I work for has bought a large abandoned building. Yeah. And as part of a departmental away day the other day, mm. we were treated to a tour. Respectfully. Oh, here we go. This sounds like the shittest away day I've ever heard of. Well... We're going to take you to the building we've just acquired, which is abandoned and full of creepy old shit. Yes. That sounds pretty cool. Yes. Does it? Think, I mean, about, think about what you're saying. I do agree that there's, it... there's zero budget gone into that. Yeah. But also, a, like, I'd, day. I'd love to see an abandoned building. It was great. <sighs> but look at it this way. <laughs> we had to sit through a morning of doing marketing exercises. That's bullshit. Yeah. No one likes marketing. That, you've got that. No, Or yeah, you've fair. got, let's go on a tour of a big abandoned no, apartment I'd, store. I'd take uh, option B, please. Mm. Yeah. Well, it was delightful. It was delightful. <laughs> so it's a big old building, former department store, yeah. four or five stories. Oh, did you see all the stories? We did. <gasps> and we went on the roof. What? That's sweet. And we were down in the basement, up in the roof, through the, the hidden tunnels and the gully works. And... Is it creepy? Uh, is there ghosts? I was, the ghost of great service was kind of lingering. Okay. You could taste it in the air. Yeah. Along with the service. asbestos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I loved every minute of it. Because <laughs> it went halfway between... Like, there were bits where it's like, it's an old department store. So the ground floor looked a bit like it had been gutted. Mm. You know, it kind of looked like the work was underway. There was like 30 or 40 old mannequins which had been corralled into the corner. You know, um, uh, they get is, out at night. But... They get out at night. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and I it's mean, yeah, the photo of that on your gram, on my gram, is creepy as. Yeah. There are some of them are chrome. As yeah. Well. Which is quite, some of the mannequins are quite, like leveled yeah. up. Chrome ones. So they're in the process of stripping the place bare. Mm. So the asbestos team are going around. They're punching Is holes. Is there in... actual asbestos there? Well, there's less now. Well, they're going Fuck. around rip, ripping out asbestos. Is uh... there asbestos in most buildings? Uh, there's a bit of asbestos in our house when we moved yeah. in. Really? That's what I mean. Yeah. yeah, there's some asbestos tiling under our sink. Like most old buildings, I would imagine have a level of asbestos they loved it back in the day it's yeah. fine, they loved as, the flavor. fine as long as long as you don't breathe did they, it did in. they know asbestos was dangerous then no, not at first that no. was the thing fine. that was no. the problem i just wanted to make sure they weren't being irresponsible no you could like pick up a chunk of asbestos now fine but you can't break it up that's yeah don't get it the gas. don't get it powdery you don't yeah, want that in your it's the gas you know yeah but, but yeah you can carry it around in a bag or something yeah it's fine that's fine yeah don't chew on it don't chew, don't on, chew it. on it no. don't smash it up as tasty as it is don't don't put it in your mouth a lot of flavor don't Put it under the tires of a bus. No. None of those things. None of those. But my point is, we saw it all. We mm. saw cool. bits that looked like like a kind of day of the dead kind of department store where it had been abandoned and it was post-apocalyptic. We saw bits that were just ruined. Yeah. Like were just like uh, epic water damage over the years. And oh, it was just shit. like rotten kind of Great cr purchase. crusty walls and stuff. Mm. We saw bits like the, uh, the former cafeteria uh cafeteria slash yes. restaurant yes looked like it was still perfectly functional what like it had just been yeah. left yesterday chicken nugget in there well, I've eaten in... soul sachets oh. that sort of thing oh i've eaten in debenham's shit oh. Oh. i've eaten in that cafeteria debenham's shit i've said it now. i have very little recollection of it i've it's been late, i've yeah. been there as a kid like I've, i i have some memories of that department store i remember i got in trouble once what did you do there was you know those um displays that were like a bird in a tree and there was a speaker at the bottom and you would say something and then the barrett would repeat it oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. oh here we go yeah i once said something rude Ooh. in front of my mum um <laughs> the bird just started screaming and the bird and the bird repeated it nice and i and the bird repeating it my mum didn't hear what i said oh. but the parrot said it louder and my mum heard it and she dragged me out of the Debenhams. Yeah. So Parrot dobbed you. Yeah, I'm not going to say what I said because it was it was very rude. So you got, you got in trouble with your mum. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Yeah. You got in trouble with your mum and not with the security staff. Correct. My mum heard the parrot, not me. <laughs> but anybody, and I, the anybody parrot, could have said that. You could have blamed it on the parrot. Oh, but it was, it was clearly me. Because <laughs> I was the, the only one standing there. The parrot sounded just like you. And yeah, maybe. Mm. It sounds just like me now. <laughs> <laughs> 
well, John was the parrot still there. But that was in no, there. sadly. The yeah, because believe me, if I'd found an animatronic tree and parrot, yeah, you know, jumped on that, that would have been astounding. Mm. Yeah, but that had certainly happened. To, were you able to steal it or like liberate anything? Uh, we found some Debenhams bags, oh. like fabric bag for lifes. Did you keep some? No, but people, someone pointed out these are probably collectibles now. Really? Did someone? Did Who the fuck cares? Well, did someone take some? Well, I, colleagues probably, took some. Probably, probably. Yeah. If you want a mannequin, there's how, mannequins going. How, how, people, do you, how do you get those? Contact me. Really? Yeah, I'll uh, I'll put you in touch with the people. They're so, genuinely mannequin. If you want a mannequin, you can have a mannequin. Yeah. Do I want a mannequin? We got a lot that, of mannequins. Isn't that that's a question really? We're killing them as fast as we can, but they keep coming yeah, back. That's the thing. Seventy-five yeah. percent of me just wants a mannequin. Yeah. Want a mannequin and there's twenty-five yeah. percent of me which is fighting a war that it's losing. And it's like, Nick, why do you need a mannequin? Would you? I think everyone should ask themselves that at some point. I think it's do worth... I need a mannequin? Yeah, it's like a philosophical question. Do yeah. I need a mannequin? And also, like, say, say you buy a mannequin, and you don't need to consult. I Ali. have to buy it, do I? Yeah. Well, no, but maybe, okay. maybe for legal reasons. I don't. Any. I don't consult. Maybe you've got, got to exchange something. Sure. So, for legal reasons, you've purchased a mannequin. Say. And don't consult with Ali. There's no, no need There's to. no need. Just I don't think she'll her. mind. No. I don't think she'll mind. And she'll obviously, mind. like, with the amount of action figures in your house, there's a limited amount of floor space. Sure. So, it'd have to go in the bedroom. Of her, oh, yeah. Yeah. Ideally and, in the bed, actually. Yeah, ideally. I would say, yeah. yeah so at least just, initially. <laughs> yeah, and... Uh, <laughs> at least at first. Yeah. Don't, don't bother her in about getting into the house, but just kind of just move it in. No, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to inconvenience her. Do it middle of the night, really. Yeah. You know, while she's asleep. And then while she's yeah, asleep. Yeah. So there won't be any space for you as well either. So you sleep on the sofa. Yeah. Replace yourself with the mannequin. Okay. In the bed and go and sleep downstairs or something. I like it and less, but I'm for, still on board. But I'm wait for on. Ali. She'll be like pleasantly surprised, and she'll wake she up in the morning will... and go, "Oh look! Oh look! A mannequin! Oh what a treat! Oh. Isn't this great? Yeah. She'll rush a, downstairs. What a great." morning this yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Nick, she'll say. <laughs> she'll be like, Nick, this is the greatest day of my life. Can you buy extra arms? I mean, you could, I'm sure you can buy arms. Yeah, like, just like, cause, because, you know, everyone can have a a human uh, mannequin, you but if you had, kind of... if it had extra arms, oh, I see. then now we're talking. Um, well, I mean, we just want to get rid of them. What would you mm. do <laughs> with an extra set of arms? I mean, I'd attach them to the, the mannequin. So no, I mean, you, you, Nick. Oh, me, oh, if I had an extra you, set of arms. You, Ooh. Fully uh, operational arms. I mean... Well, I mean... What else could you get done? It'd be, surely they'd just be a detriment. I'd probably I probably think they, maybe, yeah. but I'm saying you have to have them. What would you do? What would you what do? What do you mean, like one task or just like on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah. Wow, well, what would you be able to do more efficiently or less efficiently? I'd probably like be able to bring drinks to my mouth while I'm typing. That's, cool. that's probably like the best yeah, thing to think of. That's yeah. good. That's Gardening good. would probably be a lot easier. I could Gardening. throw four Frisbees at yeah, once. four Frisbees. Yeah. Although I've never thrown few... two Frisbees at once, and I have two arms, so that's uh, a bit... Well, at least two. I could yeah, carry a bucket while carrying a second bucket. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of things you can do, isn't there? Yeah, a lot of things. Yeah, I could wank and run. No, oh, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. I didn't want to go there necessarily. But but yeah, <laughs> I don't know why that's something I can only do with four arms. But but yeah, and on that note, yeah, you could you could feasibly do that with two arms. No, no, no. We're getting out of this. On that note, I might do that this weekend actually. What wank and run? Yeah. Sorry, go on. That's great. <laughs> on that note, what do we think? One, love or hate? Uh, well, I felt that there were fewer laughs than usual, <laughs> and, there, and therefore, and therefore, I'm going to say hate. I had, a, I had a good chuckle. Have you? Well, yeah, it's been alright. Well, it's, it's almost like uh... it's definitely one of our middling episodes. <laughs> <laughs> last episode was good. It was really good. great. A great really episode. Great, great, great episode. Last episode. Well, I'll have to yeah, trust you on that because, as I say, I don't listen to this show. No, yeah, that's it. it's a bit. And, I and say it's worth listening to. And it's good. And oh, I, I won't be. <laughs> and a few episodes ago. That was really good as well. Yeah. Then there was like a bit of a dip. Lol. Then it got great again. Mm. Yeah. And it's almost like we've kind of dipped again It's now. an inevitable up and down. I'd be interested in the view, uh, viewing, listening figures for mm. each of those episodes. Yeah, I mean, there's really no way of knowing if there's any correlation between... If only I knew the guy you know, who uploaded the episodes to the internet. <laughs> you were, there's no way. If only no. I knew that yeah. guy. Mm. Yeah. So, you know, I'd be interested in that just to see how the demographics are faring. So you're going for hate. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Do <laughs> you have a thought? Um I think the hates were quite satisfying. I'm I'm thinking hate as well. Boom, yeah, hate as well. Cuz also yeah. we had community hates. There was a we lot did. more yeah, hate. Yeah, a lot of it. hate, yeah. So... Oh, I think there was Do you want to end on a really on a on a positive note? Sure, why not? Oh, I believe fuck's... there was a I, I believe <gasps> there was a love. The papers. My precious notes. Go and on. we're going to end on a love. Okay, right, great. No, we're, all gonna, yeah. we're all going to we're all going to say something positive, okay? Great. Uh...
Imaging says, friend of the show, I love cold mornings. I don't. Put on a nice coat, have a hot cuppa. Very cosy. No. Sure. No, you're wrong. No, but and here's why. Not, not really what I was hoping for here, but there we go. <laughs> I hate, 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 and I'm wasting a hate here on this. You are. Getting out of the shower on a cold morning. You know when you get yeah, out that's on sucks. a cold morning when it's like still dark outside? And, and I hate it when my car freezes over. Yeah. I fucking hate that. And, but you get out of the shower and it's, fuck me. I've never felt fuck. cold like it. When you get out of the shower on but a cold morning. But don't, don't you just feel alive? Oh, I hate it. A yeah. um, little bit of cold on the tip. Oh, no, it's just it. too cold. Oh. It's like it's like full body coldness. <laughs>